community spotlight. We have a special Mega May edition for you all today. It's not the first one either. We're going to have another Mega May episode in two weeks. And a couple other shows this month are also going to be doing Mega May episodes with some Battle Network shenanigans going on all throughout the month of May. So hope you all enjoy yourselves some uh, fast-paced Mega Man action. If you've never seen these series before, it's really cool. Definitely do recommend checking out the different shows that are going to have it. But before we get into Battle Network 5 tonight, just a quick reminder that remote volunteer applications uh, have been announced for SGQ 2022. They're going to be opening from the 23rd to the 29th. Flame, frame, blah, blah, Flame Fatales 2022 game submissions are open till May 22nd. So if you know any women in speedrunning who might be interested, be sure to let them know. And of course, you can check us out on YouTube if you're watching us live. And if you're watching on YouTube, you can check, it out, check us out live at twitch.tv slash games done quick. We'd appreciate it if you would consider subscribing as uh, Hotfix is funded in part thanks to your subscriptions and bits. But today we've got Lurking on, who's going to be running Battle Network 5, any percent, no ace. So how you doing, Lurking? I am doing great. Really excited for this run. And uh, joining us on commentary, we've got Komari. How you doing? Hello, I'm doing great. And uh, Meta Ruler. I'm doing excellent. This is going to be a very, very exciting day. So I, I know these games... People either fall into the category of, oh my god, I love these games, or what? what is this? I've never heard of it. There's very little in between. So for people who are in that second category, give us like the quick elevator pitch. What is Mega Man Battle Network? What are we about to see? Uh, I'm going to let Meta answer this. He's probably going to be the most informative. Yep. Oh, me? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go for it, Meta. Give us the quick elevator pitch. So what? Uh Oh, okay, so here's how Battle Network works. So it's another Mega Man game, and the way that this one works is it's more of an RPG focus versus your run and gun of some of the classics. In this one, you collect uh, what is known as battle chips, and you create a folder of 30 of them. So in some ways, it's a deck builder as well. And then you are able to draw, as you'll see in the battles, you'll be able to draw five at a time. You utilize them to delete the viruses, and it's, it's a whole hell of a lot of fun. Uh, there's all kinds of different elements that make it even more of an RPG focus from uh, where you, there's double soul, which I don't believe we use in this run. Yeah. Do we lurking? Do we use double soul at all? Uh, and then uh, there's just in the past, there's been things like Navi customizer, which returns in this game as well, which we will be using. So I would highly recommend it. Uh, all six of the games in this series are very, very fun. If you're an RPG fan, it's especially fun. They're also real time battles, right? Like you're moving around. Mm -hmm. Yep. Not like the traditional turn-based RPG. You select your chips, and then you got to move around and dodge and fight actively. So it's a nice right. mix of the two. Yep. The um, only time that where the battle stops is if you pause, obviously, and then when you're selecting chips. All right. Um, do you want to explain what No Ace is now, or would you rather start the run and explain that once we get started? Uh, we could do it after we start the run. I think we could get started yeah. for now. Okay. So I All guess right. we'll point out. Is uh, I'm gonna start from a, a hard reset is when I'm gonna start the timer, and then for the first like 30 seconds we're not gonna be talking because I'm gonna try to manip. So manip will explain for what it's not necessary. So if I don't get the frame perfect window, it's okay. But we're gonna try to start with that, and then after that happens, we can start explaining everything. So if you're wondering why we're quiet for a little bit, it's because of that. All right, whenever you're ready, give us a countdown then. All right, so we can start in uh, five, four, three. Two, one, go. Basically for the manip, I need to check into the computer a certain amount of frames after um, the hard reset that I did. So it started basically from when I hard reset and for now all of this is kind of counting down. So I have to do this part quickly but it's really not tight at all. And then hopefully jack in at a frame perfect time. I might have been late, but yeah, it doesn't That's matter. Right. Okay, so to explain what we were doing, basically in this game there's things on the internet called GMDs, which are like green mystery datas, which have random contents in them. So you could have Zenny, book frags, or battle chips. And in the early game of BN5, we were very low on Zenny. We need a lot of Zenny. And the contents of those chips are determined when you jack in. So we're trying to jack in at a frame where 
you get a lot of Zenny, basically. And Zenny is the but, money, correct? The money of Death yep. yes. yes. And this is the only instance in the game where we can manip because the game saves your RNG value, so you can, have, can never reset it to a known value. So we only know where our RNG value is at the start, but after that, you have to be basically frame perfect with everything to keep a consistent RNG, which is not happening. Oh, what, you're not going to do the full manip? Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> Just do a human test. It'll be fine. Uh, what is this, three hours plus of perfect manip? We'll be fine. <laughs> so I guess, as you can see, this is the tutorial. It basically shows off all the mechanics of the game that Meta Ruler talked about slightly earlier. Like, you know, pick chips, then the live you know, action based. After you pick the chips, everything's active. You always got your reliable Mega Buster at your side. If all else fails, or you, so you miss. Exactly. <laughs> all right. So while, while we're doing tutorial, I'm going to ask the newbie questions that I already know the answer to, but we got people who've never seen these games before. So what's the custom meter at the top? What, what does that mean? So uh, I can get that one. So the custom meter actually is the thing that you need to fill back up before you can select more chips. Essentially, LAN, your operator, can only send so many chips at a time. Then you have to wait for the custom meter to refill before you can press L or R to reopen the custom screen and get more chips. So, um, Lurkin, I don't know what frame that is, but I don't know. So basically, <laughs> there's this thing that no one really understands that sometimes, like we have a table of all the possible frames, but sometimes, and no one knows why, we get different frames. <laughs> no one understands it, and this happened this run. Yeah. So I don't know what we're gonna get. Four hundred Zenny to start with is really good, but that's a good point. Yeah, we're we're not too bad off yet. <laughs> it's uh some cosmic rays. So basically, what I've realized, it's always my first run of the day that has this happen. <laughs> yeah. But before we started, reason, man. It's the hard before reset. we started, I actually did a test run. I, to basically... I do feel like it might be the hard reset actually. Because I always, I, I always do it from a soft reset. Ooh, I always never do it from a hard me. reset. So yeah, it's weird. We don't really understand it. Oh, I tried yeah. to make it to where this wouldn't happen, but it happened. Also, while we're picking up mystery well, uh, mystery data, the blue ones are actually set uh, are set mystery data. So we we know what's in those. The green ones are the random ones. So that's the ones we're hoping on. Also, that was your first encounter in this area, right? Yeah, this is the latest I've ever had an encounter. Uh, so yeah. In, in better work, we encounter. have random encounters when we are in the internet, and we we usually have some trouble with them in BN5. Uh. We get a lot of them. Well, actually, in BN5, we have every kind of possible RNG there is to better network games. So yeah, <laughs> should be should be a fun run. So most battle network games are pretty RNG heavy. The earlier ones, uh, so the first trilogy, one, two, and three, have RNG manips in them. But uh, the later ones change some things and how the RNG works, which make this, makes it to where we can't manip anything fast. You know, hitting new game. Yeah. So we got some Zenny. So even though we didn't hit the frame that I would have liked, it wasn't the worst. Yeah, but the yeah, two hundred Zennies is all right. You're probably gonna have to jack back in for yeah. uh, more yeah. Zenny later, but that's completely fine. So basically, like, what we're oh, right. yeah, so you got like a four hundred. What we're doing rate. now is running around. Basically, we have to talk to all our friends because RPGs make you talk to everyone. <laughs> but we're also collecting a lot of <laughs> HP memories and um, reg ups which will basically help us later. We can discuss what each of them does uh, at a later time when they're more relevant. Yeah, BN5 is really good with that, actually. Uh, in some of the Battle Network runs, we don't really have much at the beginning, but in BN5, we just grab a lot of stuff really early on. That is actually a rather nice thing about it. I mean, obviously, the, the initial frame is, you know, a bit hit or miss, but you know, there's plenty to at least be grabbed here at the beginning. You can even jack into trees! Yeah, yeah. Trees into yeah. dog houses, into statues. Everything, everything in the Battle Network universe is connected to the internet. Yep, including toilets, but that's being six. Yeah. <laughs> Which game is it where you, the, somebody's stove gets yeah, on, catches on fire because of a virus? Oh, I think it's being one, right? Actually, yeah. yeah, it is. It is BN one, but it's not the first, or it's not the last time your stove causes issues. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
And also not the last time something lights on fire, but you know, that's pretty much the fault <laughs> of one man. You're telling me it's not normal to have the entire school going on fire? Well, it turns out a character that shows up in five of the six games, Mr. Match, uh, has a bit of a fire addiction. <laughs> Really? I never would have guessed based on that name. Exactly. Exactly. And he also goes through three Navis. He goes through Fireman, Flame Man, and Heat Man. All right, but the most important question is, which game is it where we get the famous Mega Man attack? That is BN3, where you throw your PET at Tsuniyama and take him out. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. The desperation play because essentially he's taken the N one grant or the N one tournament hostage. So So how much is this early game routed? You said you're you're looking for these GMDs, looking for any early uh Zenny. Are they like backups or do you just have to wind up jacking back into a place that's got some um, really so easy at green? At this point, ones? the reason we need the the uh, GMDs for Zenny is for uh, sneak runs, which allow us to skip encounters. So they're not completely necessary, but they're nice. But later on, there is a story trigger that we need. Like, you, you need a thousand to buy an item to progress the story. Mm -hmm. So at that point, I will just have to farm for money. Okay. So it's not like we have to stop really early on to, to make it happen. You'll just. So I might check in back once. I, won't, I, I need two sneak runs right now, but I don't have any. Let's draw. Oh, it's actually fine. <laughs> yeah, you, this is actually fine. You, I think you need 500 more for... Yeah. So difference. I might be able to buy one. Because you have 100 right now, right? Okay. Uh, yeah. Nice. These guys still line up. Ooh! Ah, we're... So Vulcans actually hit two enemies that uh, when they first hit and whatever's behind them. So I tried to line them up to double hit. Oh, now you need 400. Oh, wait, I'm gonna... Might as well try and grab it here. Yeah, so you could get 400 from the first GMD, so I'm gonna try for it once. I believe! So who else Worst case, if we don't have the sneak runs, we just get encounters and we run away from them. It's a lot of time loss for, like, a, a normal run that's a reset, but... Hey! hey! That's, that's great. Nice. That was a 1 in 8. Let's go! <laughs> that's great. So who wants to explain how sneak runs work? So sneak runs are kind of like a repel in Pokemon. Uh, so what determines if you're able to run from an encounter on, or not is your max HP. Well, there is a cursed encounter in BN5, but we're hopefully hopefully not going to see it this run. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, it is determined by your max HP value. And if you have, uh, if your HP is uh, higher than the certain threshold for the area, you're able to run from it. And if you use a sneak run in that area, when you can run from encounters at a 100% rate, you're just not going to get encounters. So we use those in the early to mid game in BN5, but then uh, the thresholds just get too, way too high for us. And we just have to take the 75% run rates, which is uh, the nightmare for BN5 runners. I'm assuming since it's tied to HP, it's just too hard to keep your HP high enough. Kind of yeah, deal? Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, e we keep it we would high have enough. to like, yeah, we have to go too much out of the way to get more HP memories to uh, raise our HP or get Zenny to buy more HP memories. So it's just not realistically uh, worth it or even fast enough. So we're able to keep our runaway air runaway chances at seventy five percent. Yeah, that's pretty which good. is pretty good compared to most other uh, Battle Network games, actually. Yeah, for example, in BN6, we're stuck at like 25, so we just end up killing yeah. encounters because on average it's faster than trying to escape, failing, and trying again. Yeah. Right. So I guess we can explain the mechanics of this dungeon. Uh, basically, what is going on is there's some sort of security breach, and we're trying to Break passwords? I don't know. I haven't played this game casually in a while, but <laughs> so essentially, I think meta is the best one to explain that. <laughs> okay, so so what's happening here is yes, a bit, what has happened is Scilab has been uh, invaded, as it were, and so it has triggered all of the different security measures, which includes all of these words, which we need to now reassemble to get past them. The Mister Progs give us hints as to what they are, and that's why you see them being words like nap, for instance, on the last one. Yep. Or uh, no. 
I will rat for this one, so we yeah. just have to rearrange the letters. Be the password. You know, very secure passwords. I would totally not recommend you have your password as owl rat. Indeed. Now, the other thing about this one is you only have a certain number of moves to rearrange the words. So if you misplace one, you're going to trigger the security and get a virus encounter. Yeah. Which is, the by words the way, world record strats. <laughs> True. Are the words the same thing every time, or do you have to talk to the little NPCs it's, to figure out what they are? It's always the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for this one, it's Doc Hall. The next one is going to be Hipto Arm, and then... Five three two one four. Yep, five three two one four. Now, unfortunately, we can't just enter the last one, and uh, I'll explain why when we get there. What did you get from GMT in the first area? Uh, five hundred bug beneficial. frag. It was pretty good. Yo. Yes. Yeah. So at good. this point, we still want bug frags for later. So at some point, we're gonna need eight bug frags, and we need Zenny just throughout the run. So anytime we see Zenny or bug frags, that's good. Nice. Anytime we Yo, see chips, it's probably bad. Also nice. <laughs> are there any so like there are some super rare chips? high roll chips you no. can get? No. Not uh, in the early no. game, no. So in B and 6, there is gold mystery data that are very rare, but can have <laughs> big rewards. But we don't need them yeah. in B and 6, they spawn. But when we need them in B and 5, they, they don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> for B and yeah, 6, for the whole run, we're going to be looking for Zenny and bug frags from the GMD. Yeah, some chips are nice and we'll put them in the folder, but eventually any, most chips from random sources will be removed for chips that we yeah. specifically look for. In fact, this is like one of the main runs in Battle Network series where we really like build our folder to be good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and before say, you get to the halfway on, point. Based on previous years of Mega May, that sounds very atypical. Of uh, having that much control over your folder. Yeah. BN4, uh, we just surrendered to darkness halfway through. Like, we, we build our folder, but it's a pretty quick turnaround. <laughs> <laughs> now, we had to go find the memo, essentially, to tell us what this number was, even though we already know because we've played it before, because this prog has no clue what it was. <laughs> Luckily, somebody was chilling on the couch and dropped their note. So here Lurkin is doing a folder edit, he's basically uh, putting good chips at the top, removing bad chips and putting more good chips in this folder. The reason why he puts uh, his better chips, uh, his best chips at the top is because uh, the shuffling algorithm for Better Network games is kind of weird, it's not good. <laughs> so uh, the chips at the top have a higher chance to, uh, of being drawn, so that's why he does that. And he's, here's the first boss, it's Colonel, oh. and I love he moves. Him three times and on the fourth move he attacks and we want him to come to the front he never uh goes to the front actually Brother, that's why we, we rag area grab <laughs> yeah, so we're trying to have him attack from the front so i could counter hit him which i messed up but it's fine, fine. <laughs> so, so we didn't mention full synchro but if you counter hit an enemy your next ship gets double damage so yeah they also get example, stunned and you can just hit him again Ooh. This should kill. Nice. Oh, bye. So I missed a couple of counter hits. One of them was pretty bad because I ended up having an 80 damage sword instead of 160, which is the reason I had to take an extra turn. But overall, it's it's a pretty decent fight. Sometimes he just goes to the back like 10 times yeah. in a row and you just can never hit him. Yeah. <laughs> how um how strict is the timing for counter hits? Like how much of a window do you get? It depends on the virus. So for Colonel, I find it to be a little tricky. Uh, Kumari taught me a trick which works pretty nicely, so have him attack from not your row and then when he starts his attack move into his row and that delays enough to where the counter hit lines up. Yeah. Huh. So some of them have little tricks to make them easier, some of them are just tricky. But, uh, we don't have to counter hit too much in this run. Unfortunately, no BGMD. Yeah, if we can find if we can find some battle green mystery data, that'd be pretty good. And that'll be if we spawn into a battle and one of those green mystery data appears on a square and we don't destroy it and the viruses don't destroy it, we get a bonus. We get possibly Zenny or bug frags, which would be great. Or chips later on, which some of them are actually decent chips that you oh, yeah. can get from. Uh, we still prefer the other things, but you can get decent chips. So right now, Lurkin still needs like thirteen hundred Zenny. Yo. Well, a little less now. 
<laughs> Just a thousand now. Come on, money. No. <laughs> So what I'm learning is we just need Komari to say that lurking needs more Zenny. Because every time you've said that, he's found Zenny in the next GMD. True. So here we used, uh, so, you know, I mentioned earlier I was gathering reg ups, which increase our megabyte, like, I don't know, storage of our folder, which allows us to reg chips depending on the size of the chip. So we got enough for, we got 12 megabytes of reg memory. And that is to be able to reg uh, copy damage, which is probably the best chip in this game, and it will be on reg pretty much the whole run until the very end. What does putting it on reg do? Um, it makes it to where you always draw it, so it's always going to be the number one chip in your folder. So you Ooh, always okay. draw it. And copy damage makes it to where you can hit it on an enemy, tag an enemy with it, and then any damage that other enemies take, that virus also takes it. And it's probably going to be used against almost every fight in the game. Indeed. Is that it's one of those so things where you put... Five. Oh, dude. Yes, for example, in this fight, I'm gonna copy damage the top guy and then hit the two bottom guy. Or, I messed it up, but it works. Is that one of those things where, like, since you're guaranteeing it's being in the folder, you don't want it to be at the top of the folder? Since you want the other chips to get that increased It chance? actually swaps. Like, yeah. basically, after it uh, shuffles your folder, it just swaps the reg chip to the top. So like, let's say right now it's chips two through... So when we have something regged... Uh, actually, since I'm doing the fight, can you explain it, Kamari? Yeah, it's so to it's different in some of the games. In BM5 specifically, uh, when you don't have a reg, it's one through five. But when you have a chip on reg, it's actually slots two through five. Oh, so okay. if it was at the top, it wouldn't really matter. But it just swaps with the number one chip. In other games like BN4 or 6, for example, uh, it just just basically swaps with the number 5. So it's going to be slots 1 through 4 when you have a chip on RAG. So it just changes depending on the game on how you optimize your folder? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. And I guess uh, since we're here, uh, this meta, would you be able to explain about what Liberation Missions are? Not a problem! That's kind of the bread and butter of the 5 So, Liberation Missions are indeed the unique mechanic of Battle Network 5. They are a more tactical approach to the game that you don't really get in any of the other ones. And what you have to do is you're essentially cleansing the web from the Dark Lloyds. Uh, you see Blizzard Man that's all the way in the back there that's just been mocking him the entire time. Um... And what we're doing is every turn, every Navi that we have on our team gets a turn to go liberate a panel. And a couple of things to note is that you saw him liberate what was called a dark hole. That spawns those big beast things, as well as liberates all the panels around it if you liberate it. What he's doing right now is using a special move that Mega Man has called Longsword, where he liberates two panels in front of him instead of one. Uh, Colonel has a uh, three in front of him. He has um, Green Divine. I don't know why I couldn't remember the name of it. So they, every Navi has their own special ability. And after their turns are over, it's the Dark Lloyd's turn, and then we do it again. Now, what, what Lurkin's going to be aiming for in a couple key places is to get a one-turn liberation. Because if you get a one-turn, then you get to liberate all the panels around where your Navi's currently standing. And so I believe this... Uh, no, this isn't a needed one turn. There's a couple needed one turns. Yeah, there's none in Lib 1, because Lib 1 is pretty simple. But like right. later on, there's going to be fights where we have to one turn them. What do you mean by one turning them? You do one turn. Uh, like I said, it liberates all the panels around him. You see that last panel? Oh, okay. okay. Oh, go ahead. So to, to clarify the question, so one turn... So in Liberation Missions, you don't choose when to open the custom screen. As soon as the like custom bar goes to full it automatically opens it so you just need to kill them before the um the bar at the top fills up okay okay mm -hmm. i get it and you only yeah, got and you three have... turns yes exactly okay. if you don't deliberate in three turns you fail and oh i got a counter hit yeah, for example here since i did in one turn the next fight I guess another thing is if you try to liberate when you're surrounded by enemy tiles, as in what is currently going to be doing here, you're going to be surrounded in the, in the fight. So as you're going to see, there's going to be enemies to my left and right, and I have to turn around to them. Only time it happens this in the entire game, or series. And if you had 
one turned that, it would have cleared those other two yeah. tiles, so this would exactly. have happened. Exactly, it would have cleared what's yes. So actually for this fight, funnily enough, the best case scenario for a surrounded fight is better than the best case scenario for a non-surrounded fight. <laughs> it <laughs> is. <laughs> That's funny. But that requires you to draw good, and I actually got like a perfect draw there, which is just a lot of swords. The worst setup is you only get two columns and they're shunted to the left. This is actually a better setup in my opinion. That's good. That's another good draw. So this guy, I can't reach it, but it actually throws its head at me and I could just hit it after it does that. Here he comes! <laughs> Now for the boss of the liberation. Generally, we just kill them with one turn, but if not, like other navies can continue hitting them, and then between turns they heal a little bit. Mm, yeah, that's a bad draw. Ooh, it's a really bad draw. Hoping for a white sword and a sword for next turn. Or at least a sword <laughs> for yeah. some more damage. Luckily, <laughs> Colonel has Scream Divide as his charge shot instead of Mega Man's Mega Buster, which does a lot more damage. Yeah, what is so. It? Sorry, go ahead. This fight is fully consistent, but with good draws, it could be faster. We could have killed him in one turn, but... Or in two turns, but with a bad draw, I'm going to have to go for a three turn. Hey, Jesus, one turn? What are you drawing? Four swords? <laughs> 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 what is it that determines being able to use more than one chip or not? Ah, that's actually an excellent point. Um, did you want to explain it, Kamara, or did you want me to? Oh, I can go ahead, Meta. All right. So what determines whether you can use multiple chips in a turn is determined on two factors. Either A, they're the same chip. If I have a wide sword K, L, and star, I can pick all of them because they're all wide swords. Or if they're all the same code. So if I have a cannon B and a thunder B and a mini bomb B, I can pick them all because they are a B code. The exception to that is the star code, which can be picked with a any single letter. So you can do like B and star or C and star, etc. But like if you yeah, have so now, two wide swords that are the same letter, you could then right. bring in a different thing of the same letter. That is correct because they yes. are both the same letter. Or but you can't do like well. yeah. But you can't do like, you know, a, a white sword S, a white sword K, and then a sword S. Nope. It's, there is a, okay. a different yeah. one. So we're getting to the point Ooh. where we're going to start wanting Zenny. As Got much Zenny as possible. <laughs> so I like... have 70. I'm going to need 1,000 for the... Yeah. In a little bit. So hopefully in this trip through the internet, I will get a lot of Zenny. If not, we're going to have to farm it. This is the, like, story check where we need, uh... All right, let's test this. Lurkin still needs 930. Oh. Didn't work this time. So, uh, Smog, you're, just a, you're is a little late. An excellent question. That is an excellent yeah. question. So, what did we buy from the old man? We bought Dark Sword. <laughs> dark Sword is a dark chip, which are evil, but they do a lot of damage, and we don't care if they're evil because we want damage. We don't want money, though. Nice. Oh, I need 30 more. That's fine. See, it didn't, it didn't work on that one because you said it while Lurkin was opening it, but it still worked on the yeah. next two. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna get a little bit more into dark chips when I use one in the next boss fight, which will be Nightman. It's gonna be 500. Perfect. <laughs> nice. Oh. <laughs> Calling it off the top of the deck. Oh my god, lurking. <laughs> you got that. You got that show run luck. <laughs> so I guess like GMDs, their contents are determined by area. So each area has a GMD like, drop table, mm -hmm. but some of them are like a little buggy and. I don't want to go into the details of explaining it because I don't understand it and I don't think anyone really understands at least none of us like here fully understand yeah. how it works but like for, for in general it's like at eight things that can drop from a GMD but in this case because of some sort of bug called the uh, I don't know overflow glitch or something carry over glitch carry over glitch that GMD had actually glitch. only four possible spawns which are like one zenny one bug frag or an energy bomb or rico 50 so it was a one in four for it to be that fight. <laughs> oh, the one Zenny is a slap in the face. You see the Zenny and you're like, oh, oh. No. Well, some of them sucks because you know it's like a 50, because of that bug, you know it's like a 50 50 to have Zenny and then it's never Zenny. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so now we have the beach episode. You and your friends have gone off to an island destination, um, abandoned mining island. Uh,. <laughs> A great, great place to go. So 
Someone in so chat. we modify their folder there. So I added a couple of ships, which is the dark sword that we bought, and then Blizzman SP, which we got from beating Liberation One uh, fast enough, and then a Buster Up, which is just a star code. Indeed. Nice. I'm actually I getting think close that's Four book frags already. That's yeah, really good. Three or four. Yeah. Now, Ray, I think you were saying something about chat a second ago. Yeah, someone in chat's asking a question about program advances, and I don't even think we've even explained program advances yet, have we? We haven't, because we we might use it once at most in the run. Oh, well, okay. maybe more for maybe. memes, but there's only one time where it's actually fast. So not very yeah. useful in this run. No. But uh, if you want to just explain what they are, there's like chip combos, which is like a three chip combo. Or is any. I don't need nice. more. But oh my! That's nice. <laughs> but yeah, there's like cheap three chip combos, and then one example that we might use in the run is like if you pick sword, white sword, and log sword, they kind of combine into life sword, and that is just a super strong chip. Three by two, and 400 it, damage. Oh, it's so good. 75 percent, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> ah yes, our favorite run rate. <laughs> I, love the, I love the salt and lurking's voice there. <laughs> like when you run BN5 enough, like literally like what determines a BN5 run is do you get Zenny early game? And how many 75% chances do you fail? That is really what BN5 is. The pure There's essence. like maybe a hundred of them across the run, so we dread them. Uh time to make a fishing pole. So we're just gathering supplies to build the fishing pole. We get a bamboo, fish line, and a worm. And our friend Dex will make a, a fishing rod. And then we go fishing! And then we go fishing. And we definitely get the big fish. Have a very now we want to make, I think, a campfire. So we're going to get a board, yeah. wig, some dry grass. I like that the sprite changes. Just poof. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know this. He took here. a lot of grass. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, best chip of my choice, Dark Sword, 100%. Dark Drill. I have a very important off topic question. Do we get to see my favorite cursed Pikachu rug in this game? Oh, I think that's I think two. So. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Oh, unfortunately. Is that two, Komari? Yeah, it is being two. Dang it. <laughs> we actually yeah, do have them. Yeah, two. Well, ah. from, from being three to four, there's a major change in uh, ACDC town design, so mm -hmm. I think they get rid of the Pikachu. Unfortunate. I pointed out every time, and I think it was Tara <laughs> noticed it and just found it really funny <laughs> that I pointed it out every time. <laughs> yeah, so what we did there was the Navicust tutorial. So Navicust is a, I guess, mechanic in this game which lets you put programs into Mega Man to buff him. So we get three for free with the tutorial, which are attack plus 10, which will make our charge shots do 20 damage instead of 10. And we get undershirt, which makes it to where if we are going to die, but have more than one HP, we will get to one HP. So it kind of gives us like a buffer to where we can get one, get hit one more time before dying. And then the third one is we get charge or speed plus one. We get speed. I'm pretty sure it's speed. I think. Speed. Here's yeah, the mind key. Sure it's speed. We needed a thousand zenny for this guy. So we now yeah. have that easily. This is why we needed thousands any because we want to go through the mines because a random hole in the ground opened up and swallowed our friends. Yeah, and which we want to go great. through the mine, save them, but the doors are locked, so we have to get the key for that. Turns out hanging out at the abandoned swag. mine wasn't our best plan. Got us swag talking. No. Nice swag. <laughs> so now there's more doors that we need to open, but these ones actually have viruses in them, because you know, why else would a door be locked? Of course. Uh, these fights are always the same. Ooh. Yeah, these fights are they're, always the same. Yeah, there are some draws that work really well for them. Uh, Blissman SP one. is one of them. Bonk. My personal favorite is White Sword. Yeah, White Sword is a good draw, but I don't like it because I'm bad and I mess it up. Blissman <laughs> is just an easy chip where you press it and then it freezes the game and does the attack so you can't miss. But it freezes the game. That's but it the, that's so it is slow. Thing. So there's a lot of pieces where we have like an it's like a very simple but consistent one turn, but it's slower and then you can like go more complex and 
this is actually a cool fight. So you can push this rock into the Mitar and it does a lot of damage. It's 100. Yeah. So I copy damage the Cactus and then air shotted the rock into the Mitar, did 100 damage and then rest, used the rest of the chips in the last one. That was a really good draw for that fight. If you get a bad draw, that fight can be pretty slow. And this is everyone's favorite fight. If I get an airshot white sword, it's my favorite fight in the game. If I don't get airshot white sword, Close. it sucks. Ah, I ah. go for it. I'm going for it. Get it! Yeah. Uh, let's go! Ooh. Nice, nice. <laughs> that was the second one. So this fan box in the back is pushing us backwards, but there's like some weird <laughs> delay in when it pushes you. And if it just lines up correctly, you can walk up and hit a sword. I actually figured out what it was. Those little wind clouds it sends out are actually the thing that pushes you back. So you can technically dodge it. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's terrible. Oh, no. Yeah, I just walk is. up and you know. <laughs> It's awful. I've missed so many swords yeah, because the of The smart that. thing to do there was to actually buster the fan first and then kill the, the 2B tanks, but that's not fun. Nah. Yeah. So someone in chat is asking if you wind up using the dark chips enough to trigger any of the consequences in this room. So was mm, yes, not really, but no. Like we do, right. we do get our HP, our max HP reduced by one every time we use it, but yeah. that doesn't really matter. If we are not careful enough and use too many dark chips, we can go dark like completely dark and that is pretty bad in yeah, this room. So we actually we make sure yeah, we ensure yeah. that to not use enough dark chips to be uh, consequential. Mm -hmm. It's basically two things uh, with B with uh, dark chips in BN5. We can't really use them too much in sequence because every time you use them, it drops your karma. Karma is like a hidden value that determines how dark you are, basically. And uh, it drops your karma by four every time you use it. Well, the first time it actually drops to 480 and then every time you use it, it drops by four. And... If you use it too much in a sequence, you're just going to go dark, and that is really bad. You're basically unable to finish the run if you're dark, because we are going to use uh, dark uh, soul unison, dark... Uh, well, we're going to yeah. see more about that later on, and I can explain uh, better. But uh, there's a reason why we can't go dark, allow us ourselves to go dark. Okay, I was and, about to ask, so if you're going to explain yeah. later, I'll hold off on it. Yeah, yeah I think yeah, it'll be yeah. better to explain it when... Yeah, we there's going to be a tutorial for it later for the Soul Unison, so okay. I'll explain it better later. The other, the, tutorial. the other unfortunate thing early is that we cannot go full sync when we're dark, because the emotion window is locked as dark mega. That too, yeah. Yeah, and Trails? so we, we oh. can't really use dark chips... <laughs> too much in a sequence and we also uh but we also need to make sure to use them from time to time because we if we use them once and like go tainted mega which is not really dark but not really light mega as well uh that that's where we want to say we don't really want to go light again because that kind of messes up our karma it's gonna go high up again and then when we first use a dark chip again it's gonna go all the way back to 480 and that can sometimes messes up things. So it's better to just stay as Tainted Mega, which is uh, it's just safer. Yeah, I just, you gotta, you gotta dabble a little bit in the dark chip uh, area. You can't, yeah. you can't go completely clean, but you gotta be a gray Jedi. <laughs> it's exactly. Just to get back to what we're doing in the run now, so you probably realize I'm taking a couple of fights when you think, you know, why are you not running away? That's why it's not My nip didn't work. Your rock didn't work. work. Uh, so we're, whenever we see the drill enemies, we're trying to kill them because they if you kill them with that rank of 7 or higher, they're guaranteed to drop you a drill arm 1W, which is a super good chip. We that love one is best, chip, go best chip in the game, actually. It is. Yeah, so yeah, that's going to go into our folder for the entire run. We are a drill arm household. <laughs> so this one is going to actually be a 50-50 to get the chip. So you can get a drop from the drill or from the metar. Of course, ah. you know, we're never going to get lucky. No. It's a guard star, so I might put it in the folder. You're right. It's Tarko with the goods. It's good for folder flow. Folder flow. Right. Exactly, exactly. I'll keep my complaints about folder flow for a different time. But. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Rock Cube, one of my favorite chips in the entire series. Oh. 25%, oh, yeah, but that's fine, honestly. So far. That's the first time I failed one of these comps, which is actually not bad. 
Huh, I usually would still run. complain about it, but let's be realistic for this run. We're gonna fail some of them. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta fail one out of four. I mean, you know. <laughs> I'm just glad that apparently all that rock punching training from BN4 paid off. <laughs> so we got our first what's ace question. I don't know if this is ah. a good time or if we should wait. Uh, yeah, this comp is long and then I'm doing the same things, just punching rocks and trying to get drills. So ace <laughs> yeah. is arbitrary script execution, which BN5 is kind of broken. And there is ways to basically wrong warp and basically teleport to the credits by doing a bunch of shenanigans that we don't really understand how it works. I don't say we. But uh, yes, it's basically another category where you play the first hour of the game normally, and then you do a bunch of weird stuff and then work with the credits. So it's a very <laughs> cool run. It's actually been showcased on GDQ before. So if you're interested, you can probably find it and watch it. I would highly recommend it. It's a very fun run to watch. But it's a different category when, you know, as much as it is, it is fun to do like glitched categories, we still want to have a category that kind of goes through the most most of the game normally, which right. is the noise category. Yeah, and this is the third year that we've done Mega May on my show, and we do try to show different things. I think Ace was shown on my show. I don't remember what yeah, year. I think it was, it was last, last year, year by Rish. Did it run on yes. We did have one year, we've had a couple times where we've shown the same game, but just because the route was very different. But we just try to make sure we're showing different stuff. Because there's a lot of different Battle Network games, and uh, yeah, just like to show it all off. And if you're liking the Battle Network Showcase, make sure you tune in uh, later this month. There's going to be an episode of Never Before Seen, and I believe the 18th uh, is the correct day for that. Let me double check. I think so. Yeah, the 18th is going to have some Battle Network on Never Before Seen, and the 20th is going to have a challenge run on Challenger Approaching. And of course, on my second show for the month, on the 23rd, we're going to have even more Battle Network. So Mega May coming in in full force. If you are a Battle Network enjoyer, you should uh, stay tuned to Hotfix this month. It'll be fun. Doing oops all Battle Network this time. <laughs> and of course, on June 2nd, I don't remember. I, I had to have to look it up. There's a Battle Network 2 anniversary show that we're going to have as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's June 5th. Fifth? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds right. Because fourth is a Saturday, and it's my birthday. Oh, happy early birthday. Yes, it is indeed June 5th. <laughs> Alright, so how many drill arms so far lurking? We have three, three drill arms, which is really good. Right, so the max we good. can have is in a folder is four. Generally, I like to have at least two, but, uh, you know, Four is best, but two is luck. fine. Three is pretty good. So this is actually going pretty well. Did you get any bug frags? I saw some zenny oh. drops, but I got a couple oh. zenny no bug frags. Oh boy! Okay. So, so these comps is where you really want to be getting bug frags at this point because we're kind of approaching. Not really time wise. There's still a lot of time for it. But kind of approaching the point where we want to have eight bug frags. Uh, does this work? Should work. Uh, Roll works. Oh, oh. Okay, this should still be okay. Drink? No. Not like this. Drink was fine, it's just got their own drop table. But yeah, I could have counter hit then roll, but this is faster. Also, I know Kamari doesn't like roll as a chip, so <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't want him to suffer through it. <laughs> if you have it in the folder, better use it, I guess. I'll say it out. Gotta say on Kamari's good side, so he can give you that good uh, GMD luck. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we get a book frag here, maybe. Hey, what is that, baby? <laughs> <laughs> Brazil power? <laughs> Just <laughs> works. I was gonna say 1,200 Zenny. Zenny. Nice. 500. That's good. So Wait, he's gonna four? Five bug frags. That's a lot. That's pretty good. Yeah, Two is already good enough. It's not good enough. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have lower standards. <laughs> Alright, so another folder edit. He got a lot of stuff from these comps, so a lot of things to add. Just improving our folder and making it better. Where for, is Roll? Uh, Where is Roll? Okay, Roll is out. <laughs> 
for the next liberation mission coming up after this boss fight. Yeah, I told you it'd be a night to remember. And speaking of which, here's Nightman. <laughs> Okay, so I this is uh, where we're going to use our first Dark Chip. So there's actually a way to manipulate drawing Dark Chips. If Mega Man is anxious, which, you know, if you see in my mood gauge under my HP, if it's like green, we will be guaranteed to draw a Dark Chip. So like right now. No, 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 don't do that. Dark Chips, no. The Dark Chips know you want them. In your so now I guarantee me. drawing a Dark Sword, and I also regged Air Shot so I could counter hit him with it. So now my next star server will do 800, so he's gonna jump up now and kill him. That was almost a I appreciate the pun, and I also appreciate that everybody else in the call simultaneously refused to acknowledge it without any communication between <laughs> oh, us. Oh, I am fully... <laughs> <laughs> I am fully reveling in it, don't you worry? <laughs> it was the perfect response, it was great. <laughs> I'm gonna get a reputation yeah. eventually. Yeah, I guess uh, we weren't mentioning much about what was going on there. Those drills were uh, virus infested and they were making a big drill almost kill our friends, but we stopped them in time. Our friends are safe. And we are now friends with the person who was trying to kill them and we're trying to kill us in BN2. Indeed. And yeah. Part of that is actually because when we stop that switch, boulders come in and almost crush Mega Man, but Nightman jacks in and blocks them right in time to save the day and then forms a bit of a kinship with us. Up front? Yep. Bomb bar. I love Nightman. Nightman's great. Nightman and Nightman Colonel. Is great. Nightman like... is the MVP of this run, by the way. You're right. Nightman's that ability was... in Liberations is very cool. I don't know if Zenny for. I probably do. Yeah, I got a, I got a BG. Yeah. yeah I do. Yeah. So this is the other uh, HP memory that we buy in the run over here. It costs 2,500. We might. Sometimes we don't have enough Zenny to buy it now, so we just get it later, but we just basically need it at some point. Fresh Hot Mega Man Speedruns coming to you today for $2.99. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. oh no, I didn't break. But yeah, the reason why Lurkin's HP is $2.99 right now is because he was a dark chip. Mm -hmm. Our HP goes down by one every time we use dark chip, so. In addition to all the karma mechanics that Komari was talking about. Yeah, yeah. So at this point, like I kind of understand the karma like enough that I don't have to count. But at some point when I used to run this game, I used to keep track of my karma, the whole run of just counting every time I use a dark chip. But that's very unnecessary. Look at the size yeah. of this lad. Also, this is a sweet liberation. Watch this. Oh my god, he's huge. <laughs> he looks bigger than when you were fighting him. <laughs> <laughs> It's a funny story about him being big, big enough for me to not see the rock that was above him. So I was trying to move up, but I couldn't. And I was like, what is happening? My game Why is broken. I... No, <laughs> it's just a huge rock behind him. <laughs> the balance patch. <laughs> Prevented Nightman from using his top row. Oh, OK. That man was too, too strong. Had to make him bigger. Yeah. With this liberation, I actually like I'm doing it from a specific spot on the square that I'm standing in. Yep. Because that nice. manipulates how the guardians, which are like the enemies, the bosses, kind of, in this uh, in the liberations move. Ah. This is like the worst fight that we can get the three bats because they never line up, they don't move, so you can't like multi-hit them. And they also. Oh my. <laughs> Interesting draw. <laughs> Interesting draws, right? <laughs> They're just going to have to buster it, and then we can't buster it that often because he goes up and you have to wait for him to come back down. The liberation music is quite good. I was wondering if this was to manipulate what's about to happen here. Yeah, so... Actually, if I one-turned, Shademan wouldn't have done this attack because Shademan only attacks you from squares that are next to you. And as we were talking about earlier, if you one-turn, it's going to clear everything around you. So that wouldn't have happened. This would still go off. It saves a little bit of time. It's not a required one it's, turn, but it, yeah. it's nice if you get it. So that would just like save the animation of Nightman or yeah, coming of Shade over, Man coming or Shade Man attacking. Yeah, it would also save a bit of health because Nightman's ability uh, is quite good. It's fine. So the best draw here is the drill. The drill is great. 
but two swords also works. Oh no. Look at all that liberation. Ooh. Someone in so, chat is asking if you give Nightman a shovel chip, would it become Shovel Nightman? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> eh? This fight is a little <laughs> tricky. Yeah, there's a setup for this fight. If he goes up, it's very easy, but if he goes... So the Dark Hole fights are actually always the same, so there is some consist like there are strats for them that just always work. So for this one I actually do like a pause buffer to see what pattern is going on, and if you get the good one it's just very quick, and if it's the slower one you have to kind of see what like, have to deal with some randomness and how many times the big brute moves, because he can move from four to six times before attacking. And when he attacks can kind of affect what you do. Oh big brute. Build back up, thanks to heart. Back. Ooh, not so fast. Each Navi has a special ability, as we were talking about earlier, like Mega Man has the long sword across divide. Nightman's is to just protect allies near him. So as you saw there, like that bird was going to attack Colonel, but Nightman blocked it and he takes no damage. Our boy is such a hero! Nice drill. So here's the thing about drill arm. It says sixty. It says sixty damage, but it actually does a lot more because it hits multiple times. It's since times. it's like drilling through the viruses through the enemies, it can do up. But uh, I think to two hundred and forty damage. Well, I love if I'm not one. wrong. Yeah, two forty. Ooh. And since we tried to get most fights, we were advantaged. So we have four squares, and the enemy has two. In that like field, you can always hit it like, for max hits. And for those wondering what just happened, Nightman's Buster Shot is a revolving the revolving wrecking ball around it, but it starts and ends in the same square right behind him, so it actually double taps that square. So that bird him? Well, it's not yeah, actually behind it. him; it's whatever is to the left. So if you're yeah. like facing left. Still gonna do the left. Oh, oh right, right. I meant behind him as but far as like you're facing right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, so the square to the left. With the drill, if you counter hit, does each hit of the drill get double damage? Um, so it's actually the next chip, so you have to have full synchro and then the next chip that you use will do double damage, but let's say you use the chip before it and then did a drill, yeah, it will do four hundred. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, that's a lot. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's a really powerful chip. Just wait until you meet the better version of Dark Drill. Or, I would explain it, <laughs> the Drill Arm, which is Dark Drill. I tell you, mean the saw! Yes, indeed, that that will be very... That makes yeah, so Dark Drill hits for, like, up to 700, and then with full synchro, it can do up to 1,400. Oh, a Dark Sword. Oh, hey, which reminds me, I don't believe we mentioned this. No other Navi can use Dark s Chips besides Mecha Man. So they're actually a bad draw to anyone else. And the problem is, whenever you draw a dark chip, the game puts your cursor on the dark chip rather than the first chip. So sometimes like you're used to pressing like, you know, left, left, down, pick, and then whatever. And then if you have a dark chip, it could just mess up that pattern. I'm scared. Smog is setting up puns and then taking a long time to answer them in chat. <laughs> Smog is a pun master. <laughs> Shout out to Smog. Now, I mean, actually, runner and content content creator. He may be talking about a specific mechanic, actually, because Nightman does have some inherent abilities that all of the Navi's do, actually. Oh, I thought he was setting up a pun, not asking a question. Okay. But yes, <laughs> the, the question would actually be: Nightman inherently has an ability called Super Armor, which you can get through other means in the game. But essentially, every time you would normally get hit, you'll get flinched out of whatever your attack you're doing. However, with super armor, you don't. You don't lose your charge shot, you don't lose whatever you're doing with your currently active chip. Just keep powering through. And of course, who better to have an ability like that than Nightman, our tough boy? So it's funny, like, a lot of enemies, when you hit them with drill, they get pushed back, which makes it harder to hit them multiple times. Well, some of them don't, and that... B-Tank doesn't get pushed back, so 
Because he's uh, he's mid- dead, I was able to multi hit it. He's he's yeah. midway through moving between panels, so yeah. that apparently takes precedence. Yeah. This fight is, I was gonna say tricky, but it's actually the easiest fight in the game. <laughs> that being said. <laughs> All right, now Ooh, you're good. Free. Nightman has no range, and then there's the B tank in the back that has 80 HP. So if you don't hit it with Nightman's like you know signature chip, you might just not be able to beat that fight because depending on what you draw, you might just draw a lot of drills which have no range or swords. Yeah. It's most of our folder is swords and drills. So. Uh, unlike Mega Man and Colonel Nightman has the problem of not having range, really. Yeah. And missing up that fight is probably one of the most punishing in the, the liberation. Yo! I was greedy. <laughs> so there's like I was trying to be fancy, but I ended up messing up. <laughs> so there's like a special effect around Shade Man's squares here that just went away. Is that like you can't go attack his panels until you clear all the dark holes kind of deal? Yes. 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 You have to exactly. clear all the dark holes. Exactly. This is the Shade Man fight, probably the worst fight in the run. <laughs> oh, White Sword is pretty good. Like, yeah, sure. So, Shade Man, if, if you stay in the front, he's gonna move three times, and on the fourth one, he's gonna come to the front and try to attack you like that. And then he does different attacks depending on like, where you move. White Sword again. Next. Yeah. With Nightman, you can just uh, count. How many times he's moving and release the charge shot when he's gonna move for the fourth time? So you basically always hit him. He also has like pretty forgiving um, counter hit timings, but I'm bad. Yeah. So usually wide sword is a good draw because uh, you can hit all three if you're in the middle. So you can just uh, go for the counter hit. That was really so close. close. Oof. Yeah, I played that fight really badly, but it's it's definitely the hardest fight in the entire run. Um, just his patterns are annoying. Some of the counter hit timings can be bad. <laughs> oh man, he moved. Yeah, thankfully, uh, Mega hasn't done his turn in that round, so he can always just finish him up with him. Yeah. Shayman SP. I believe. Do we use him? Shayman SP, yes. It will go into the folder. It's not the greatest ship, but it's not a bad ship. So it will be in the folder for the whole run. Yeah. Which, in a. Oh no, I need my notes. Oh no, oh no. It's <laughs> fine. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, I have them up. <laughs> So this is what I mentioned earlier, this is Soul Unison, where you can sacrifice a chip and like uh, Mega Man can like fuse with another Navi, a friendly Navi, this time uh, Nightman, and it just, uh, each of the Soul Unices uh, do different something different. In the case of Nightman, I do believe you get super armor, correct me if I'm wrong, Mega? I believe you do. Yeah, and... You also become invulnerable if you charge a ship, a chip, and use it not, while you're using the chip. Well, not every chip; it has not, to be a break element chip, right? Actually, no. The re the thing that triggers no. the invulnerability is if you move to the front and use the chip because you are a brave knight, and so you step to the front <laughs> oh, if row. You move to the front. Really? Okay. okay. Like that's so that's what you, triggers the invincibility because you have to be bold. You have to get up there and throw things at them. So charging the chip is just uh, for, uh, just for buffing the damage, right? Just yeah. for damage. All right. So it does that. And the thing with uh, dark chips is that you can also do that with dark chips. And mm -hmm. you don't lower your karma when you do that. And you can still use a very powerful chip with the dark chip. So you can basically charge and keep using dark chip in the fight uh, without lowering your karma by going like uh, Chaos, so unison or dark. So yeah, it's really, really useful. And if you go dark, you can't really use that. And it's very, very important for the run. Indeed, so because... When you say, okay. When you say sacrificing a chip, is that like, is it just gone for the battle? Is it gone permanently? It's gone for the battle. Okay. So yeah, and we are gonna, we are not gonna use Soul Unison in the 
in the run anymore. That, that was the only time. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, but we are going to use it with dark chips. So it's uh, almost the same thing. Right now, Lurkin is getting a lot of uh, good good stuff. He's getting uh, chips, good chips, uh, good Navicus programs. Uh, it's going to become way more powerful after this. And these are uh, all like codes that were found outside of the game in promotional material, yes, right? Yes, exactly. S some inside the game, some outside inside the game. Inside and outside, yeah. Yeah. Right. Just codes to give us good stuff that we need for the runs. Oh, the best. Uh, most of them will be, so I'm going to add three chips that I got from the trader, and then I'm also going to be adding some Epicus programs, and some of them will be added later. So now we're just buying sneak runs. We're gonna buy sneak runs like what? One, two, two or three more times. Yeah, I think so. So we're almost to the point where we're gonna not be able to keep up with the, the thresholds anymore. Mm, yep. Unfortunate. And you're still at four book frags, right? Uh, five. Five. Oh yeah, you got one of the last scomp, right? <laughs> Which is amazing, actually. You just need two more, technically, because of the backup one, but now Lurkin is just adding good things and removing bad things, and also doing that with the Navi Cust. That was a compression code. He's actually going to do two. Some of the Navi Cust programs have that, so you can uh, input a code and it just uh, makes it smaller to fit in. Do you want to uh, explain what I added? Yeah, I was just so, about to ask. Yeah, he added attack max, which uh, raises our buster to max level. He added charge max, well, raises our buster attack level to max. And he also added charge max, which uh, does the same thing, but for charge. Also, soul turn plus one, which gives one extra turn of soul unison. But as I said, we're not going to use soul unison. But he did that for an emotion bug. You see the Mega Man's uh, portrait right there is flashing? That's because we have bugs. See, it changed to Angstures for a, a while and then again. So yeah, that's emotion bug. Certain programs have different bugs because there are some rules for the Navi Cuss. And if you break those rules, well, you're not gonna get a game over or anything. You're just gonna get some bugs. Uh, nice bug track, by the way. Since we're talking about bugs. Uh, but yeah, we get some bugs, and he currently have uh, he currently has two levels of Buster Bug, I think, and one level of Emotion Bug. So Buster Bug is not gonna matter that much, but Emotion Bug is actually gonna be very important to manipulate manipulate Dark Chip draws. Easy. So does that mean you can force the Dark Chip by like hitting your? Yeah, I hit R or else. I open the custom screen when my emotion is uh, anxious. And yeah. then I just draw a dark chip. And then the next turn, when I have the dark chip, I can wait until my emotion is full synchro or rage and do double damage. Nice. Exactly. It's quite the tech. I think it's one of my favorite things that we do in this run. Yeah, so now... Uh, Colonel or your B-roll told us that there's some bad navvies in the internet and we're just gonna go around and get rid of them. So we just had to go to Oran 1, 2, and then back to 1 to go to 3 because the internet... Oh, I didn't sneak run. Oops. Okay, tactical dark chip. That's what it looks like. Take our way back. So yeah, uh, if this was uh, the ace category, Lurkin would be fighting Nightman right now. Because yeah, we need Nightman chips for the I get a know, bunch of Nightman script ships. thing that I don't understand. We just get a bunch of Nightman chips and other like... And we get like our max HP, current HP, karma values or to like very specific values. And that just does magic. 
We basically yeah, break the. We were, oh, nice range. Yeah, remember, we were doing a lot of math when we had the ace run on the show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's one of those runs that where you have to be like really focused because one mistake and you basically break the game. Yep, my dip's broken. It's. Yep, you get it's super over. loud screeching noises and. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> ah! So they're a lurking waited a little bit for the Metro to be blocking the cactus behind. Uh, so he wouldn't get pushed and get full damage from the drill. Indeed. Funny enough, he also rolled Rage, so he had a backup yeah. too in case he yeah, didn't have yeah. <laughs> I didn't intend to have Rage, but I did have rage. I thought you were waiting for Rage. I didn't realize you were no. the other way around. It was actually both. It all came together. Oh, the rock shot. Ooh. This fight actually can be really bad because there is one bat that's hiding behind a rock. And if you don't have rock shot, which is an air shot, or have like a drill arm that breaks the rock, it can just be a super slow fight. Ah, almost. <laughs> that's Sorry. life sword, right? Sorry. So, the reason we couldn't life sword there is that my white sword was K-coded, so we couldn't pick it with the uh, normal sword and long sword. Feel also, they bad. have to be able to match for the program advance, like it has That's to be right. the same code. Well, yes. it depends. It's either the same code or the same chip. So some of them are like three of the same chip on different codes. For example, okay. Canon A, Canon B, and Canon C. Yeah. It depends on the specific okay. program yeah. advance. So there's 30 different program advances in this game. That's a lot. If you run a 100% or Nebula Gray Omega, you're going to have to do all of them. Not even 100% that's fun run, by the way. Uh, casually, though, I felt like it sucked. I feel like maybe the run would actually... Did I forget an HP ammo? No, I took damage. <laughs> I was like, my HP is not correct, but it's, <laughs> oh, no. it's not at my max HP. Why did I skip? That's a good question, because some... GMDs are actually bugged and they have a virus in them. So as we mentioned earlier, we kind of know the drop tables of each GMD. And that one has like a 50% to be a, a virus in it. Yeah. And then the rewards, like the other two are like Zenny and maybe a bug frag, but I think Zenny and a chip or something, which we don't need either of those anymore. So Exactly. So like best case scenario is nothing happens and worst case scenario is you get an encounter. You lose like 10 seconds. Lurkin is about to do a really cool skip right now. Oh, it's coming oh, up. You're also oh, a the nice second bug frag. Where is this in my PB attempt? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. I got the cursed encounter because you talked about it. Not like this. All right, that's okay, Jan. It gives you enough time to look at the screen because you're going to want to see what's about to come up here. Yeah, I'll talk about the cursed encounter later. But... I save. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and there we are out of bounds. And then we can talk to this guy that we're supposed to talk to like two hours from now. Indeed. Yep. So it's a nice little like sequence break. Yeah. You can do in this game. Fun fact: it means that you actually can never open the security cube to get to that guy properly for the rest of the game. Figure that one out casually. Oops. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. Luckily, there was nothing you actually need in the computer behind it, but it was just really funny because I was like, wait, I can't talk to the guy to trigger the events anymore because it's already completed. <laughs> but yeah, basically explain what happened there is there was a purple mystery data, which purple mystery data is locked, so you need an unlocker to open it. And when you use an unlocker, it sets you a certain distance away from the purple mystery data before it opens it. And that set amount is like you're slightly out of bounds. So you're going to need to have basically pixel perfect movement to get away enough from the from bounds for the game to not clip you back in. So they're like, if you saw like I pause buffer because I was trying to move one pixel down left. If I moved two pixels, I would have clipped back in. And then because of that, like if we have precise movement, we can get far away enough before um, you get clipped back in, and then you can just go and talk to the NPC. You're not even going to pick up any GMD, right? No, I have everything I need. Nice. I have seven. I'll Evolve. probably check the one in COM4 that's like right in the yeah. way. Yeah. Our. 
Although I hope you all like watching us walk through the mine because this is not the last time you have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I don't know why for some reason this was the one they're like, yeah, I feel like people want to go through this again and again. No shortcut. This isn't Zelda. You don't just get a shortcut to the end. Thankfully, this time we have enough uh, HP to sneak run through all of them. True. And since you don't really need anything, you don't need to take any extra steps. Yeah. So. so in most runs, you actually still need bug frags at this point, and like this is where you're getting really desperate and you're just checking everything. But if you get lucky enough earlier in the run and <laughs> you have a lot of bug frags, you can just skip all of them here, and that actually saves a lot of time. Yeah, at least all the, the rocks and the moving yeah. platforms aren't going anymore. Yeah. That would be terrible. I mean, yeah. Oh, I'm getting back in there. So what we're going through and doing right now is Shadow Man, the ninja Navi that we saw earlier, has basically stolen all of Nightman's operating programs. And so we're now getting them back one at a time through the drill computers. It's like being able to talk, being able to move, being able to... Um, Sure. Attack, I think. Attack. I think it's attack, attack. yeah. And this then, one. Uh, mine. One of them is mine, actually. Oh, mine. That's right. That's separate. So, yeah. N Nightman is basically like a hollow frame right now with no programming. He's just the. He's just there. I say, my boy. Oh, yeah. By the way, uh, Lurking got the cursed encounter back then. Um. <laughs> So oh, yeah, so let's I, I mentioned that one. sneak runs earlier and how every area has a certain threshold for escaping from encounters. And ACDC area is actually 120 for 100% if I'm not wrong. Yep. But for that specific encounter, it's like 400 or something <laughs> for some reason. And it's not even a difficult encounter, it's just like two meters, the weakest virus in the game. And for some reason, it's like 400. I'm assuming they probably like wanted to have a different fight, like maybe Nightman and Speed there or something, and then they switched it. But yeah, for some reason, that one yeah. fight is just super. And if you just happen to roll that encounter, because basically when you sneak run, it's still giving you the encounters, but then it skips them. And for that one, it's like, oh, there is this encounter, and then it looks at its threshold, and it's just too high. So it's like behind the scenes actually rolling an encounter and then seeing if you can skip it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I'm not 100% on yeah. like the details, but I think that's how it works. Because even when you're sneak running, you can still get the encounters, like the cursed one. It's just very rare. I was going to discuss in the soundtrack of these games, and that is one thing I will praise above. I mean, I, above almost all else in these games, the soundtrack is immaculate. Like, just the, everything they did with the sound card for these games, just so good. Is there a reason why it's on Colonel, not Crota Man? Not really. So, we think Colonel is slightly faster because it's more consistent strats and fights. But uh, there's really, like, it's kind of up to preference. There's runners who do Crota Man, there's runners who do Colonel. I. I feel like with like with Proto Man though, you don't have screen divide, so if you get into a fight where you don't have them in the front, that's just gonna be painful. With Proto Man? Yeah. You have but reflect, you have reflect though. you have reflect, which is I like a, forgot because I yeah. don't know how to press B left, <laughs> so I never did that when I played it the first time. Because <laughs> I'm bad. <laughs> I never knew okay. B left was a thing either when I played casually. So. I just never figured out how to do because I press them at the same time, but you gotta kind of like press B a little before you press yeah. left. It's yeah, I press yeah. B left. Problem is like a lot of people like always say left B, and I was what? trying to learn the run. People always said left B, and I spent like hours and hours on Cloud Man fight, which we will use that for. Right. It's, like, it's not working, and then I found out that it's B left. <laughs> <laughs> like why is this not just going? So, uh, how far are we from our first break? Um, we could do one after we kill Shadow Man, which will be in about, like, five minutes. Okay. Yeah, uh, the thing with Proto Man, uh, is that 
we haven't really grinded that category that much yet compared yeah, to well. Eternal. So we don't really know. For for most BN games, well, for all the other BN games, we just know which version is faster. But for BN5, we say it's Kernel, but we are still not 100% sure. Because we just kind of assumed it's Kernel, and most runners grinded Kernel, like, quite a lot. It was actually and a time where we thought Protoman was faster. And yeah. Protoman was faster world record-wise for a while, but then, uh... A JP runner called Jagumba, who's like one of the best, probably the best battle network runner, came to Kernel and just destroyed it and kind of Actually Rish had were at the time on Kernel. Already. Yeah, at that time, yeah. But like yeah. Jagumba beat like the Proto Man time by about twenty minutes. So we're like, yeah, Proto Man has yeah. to be faster, <laughs> but So the difference in world record right now is twenty one minutes, I guess. Yeah, something around that. <laughs> what? Yeah, something oh. like that. Yeah. <laughs> but that is not like accurate, it's just because the Kernel record uh, by Jagumba is very, very good. The Proto Main one can definitely be improved to somewhere close to the Kernel one. I'm just not sure how close or right. better. I mean, that's the fun of routing RPGs, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is like one of the scenarios, we haven't been talking about it, but Shadow Man again is like running away from us and asking us to chase him or whatever and he has clouds to like block our way. And we just have to clear them all and then find a way through. He's able to but jump that, over the clouds, so you know. Good for him. <laughs> good for him. We gotta do the ooh, gotta do the manual way. Can't do it. I hate Man. this encounter because there's like almost no way to save that without There's one there. chip in our folder that works. Is it Rolf? So, oh, oh. No, wait, it's not. Dad. Did you get Thank Django, you. by the way? I did get Django. Shout out to any Boktai fans. It's not me, though. I played that game. <laughs> I, I, gotta, I gotta play it, because Boktai will... <laughs> <laughs> I just need it. I need it for the lore. That tank is like, nope, you don't get a battle GMD. I'm just gonna blow it up. Yeah, basically. No! Yeah. He, like, you can't hit him because he's behind it unless he has something that goes over it, and then you can't wait because it will break it. Yep. The only thing you can hope for is the 50 50 on the first shot is the bottom one, just to buy you a little bit more time. So there's uh, just one more area, which is Silap 2, and then uh, Shadow Man will be at the end of this area where we could fight him. Should be a quick fight, and then we can go to our break right after it. Okay, sounds yep. good. Just for people who are curious or have not tuned into a whole lot of hot picks, we like to encourage healthy behavior. So we take wellness breaks during some of our longer runs like this one. You see the estimates, four hours. So we're going to be here for a bit. So we're going to take a break. We're going to, you know, go back to the break screen, play some music, give everybody a chance to get up, stretch, refill your water, and just take care of yourselves. Then we'll be back after that with more uh, Battle Network. So... We still got a little bit before we're going to go to break, so just stick around. One book break, nice. <laughs> nice. So earlier we mentioned that we need eight. I actually had seven, but there's one guaranteed one that we could pick up. It's like 15 seconds out of the way. So usually after I get seven, I stop checking because on average, it's faster to check to get the bonus one. Yeah, that makes sense. But then if you kind of get lucky and get one along the way. I actually can get two here. seconds. Yeah, of course. Oh! Of course. <laughs> Those two are completely useless. They We're have like any other drop would have been better <laughs> out of the four possible things. All right, Lurking. So now you know where all the Zenian bug tracks that you were yeah. asking for in your PB yeah, attempt for in the last run. two weeks. <laughs> yeah, they're all <laughs> here. And they're all waiting for the show. Here. <laughs> Wait for the GDQ show. No, no, apparently you just... I expected the opposite. I thought I'm not going to get anything. <laughs> you apparently just need, when you're doing PB attempts, you need Komari in the call saying Lurking needs <laughs> 600 Zenny. Oh, nice topic. <laughs> so generally here we would do what we mentioned, which is manipulate a dark chip draw. But we top deck it, so we don't even need to do that. Oh my god, please, Shadow Man. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he is pretty fast. It's so cool. He heard you saying it would be a fast fight. He decided okay, to. Okay, um, we can go to our break here.
Okay. He's a ninja. So we can pause here, and uh, we're going to go to a break. So we'll be back in just a few minutes, everybody. Stay tuned, just as a quick reminder. Uh, Hotfix is funded in part thanks to your subscriptions and bits, so we'd appreciate it if you would consider subscribing. We'll be back in just a few minutes with more Battle Network 5, any percent noise. Stay tuned. All right, everyone, welcome back to the Community Spotlight. We just took a quick wellness break. We're going to be getting back into Battle Network 5, but as a quick reminder, Remote volunteer applications for SGU 2022 online are going to be open May 23rd. You can find more information on gamesonquick.com. And Flame Fatales 2022 game submissions are open until May 22nd. So you can go to gamesonquick.com slash framefatales for information on that. And uh, we can get back into this run whenever you're ready, Lurking. Give us a countdown. Oh, yeah. We can get back in three, two, one. Let's go. So, I know. Right. catch up to what was going on, we uh, fought Shadow Man and he was showing us that he was actually going to be joining our group. He was just testing us to make sure we are fit enough to be on this team that's like saving the internet. <laughs> because uh, everything is good, he is now in our team. He is going to be available for the next liberation. Nice fourth drill arm, by the way. Oh, wait, was it, it was A-Code, right? I don't no, know it was I W. It. No, it was W. It was W? Yeah. Oh, the A code is in Squirrel Tops, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just so recalling that but, out. Uh, yeah, by the way, Lurkin, since you have a lot of Zenny now, are you going to skip the extra fight later? No. And skip Aqua Girl? No, we're getting Aqua Girl. Come oh, on. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Best chip in the game. On 10. <laughs> okay. I think there were, there were probably, I don't know, three, four chips that have been the best chip in the game so far. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Look, all Let I know. Let me call out the. <laughs> Drill arm, because I did not think about it. <laughs> All I know is that I'm glad that we forgave Shadow Man for his past crimes of murdering an entire country's net, net novies. Yeah. How we forgave him. <laughs> I mean, he was just corrupted, right? Um, That's the usual story, right? He, he, was, he was corrupted, right? Uh, <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, no that's dust. like the whole thing in Battle Network is they're corrupted and you help them be uncorrupted. They're like, hey, thanks, I'll join you. Yeah. Here's the deal one, uh, BN2 has that. Well, actually, uh, I like to say it has a lot of um, for or ones that don't, um, that are less forgiven, but Nightman's actually one of them. Shadow Man is operated by a professional assassin named Dusk, and oh. uh. They, they're uh, they're for hire, so you know they're oh. helping us this time. Oh. <laughs> so yeah. um, and speaking of Shadow Man, the Ninja Navi's special ability, I believe we're gonna get to see it uh next in, turn. Next turn, yeah. Which is, by the way, better than uh Gyro Man's ability. Ooh, fee, rip all my exactly Gyro Man fans. Shots the Proto Man version. <laughs> mm, yep. Rip my gyro. Montreal. Ah, let's see that. As we said, there's sometimes the like, consistent draws, but they're a little bit slower. I think this might have been faster for this draw that I had. I but uh, anti fire, like, you know, you put it on the field, and if an enemy uses a fire attack, it like, counter hits them with 200 damage to everything on the field, all the enemies. But it like stops time twice, which just makes the fight slower because it kind of pauses the game for like a couple seconds when you put it on and then a couple seconds when it uh, does its damage. They're a Gyro Man fans. Yeah, they're on his back. And because Shadow Man can <laughs> run over dark tiles like that, Gyro Man has to turn into a helicopter and then turn back into a normal Navi. And it's like so many animations. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I, I think the, yeah. the animation's cool, but I guess for speed it ain't great. Yeah. Oh, he really so. can just run forward. Okay. Oh yeah, no, he he's a ninja. He just runs on it. That's area grab. It's not a sword. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I had an extra sword, but I guess I didn't. Don't worry, it's it's impossible to get a one turn in this fight. Yeah. This fight because always we are is. completely surrounded. It's actually four viruses. Usually it's always three viruses, yeah. but in this fight it's four, and it's like. Some annoying four viruses sometimes. So, one turning this fight is.
But yeah, there, there are a couple of required one turns in this liberation. I think we had like one, maybe two in lib two as well. Required is yeah, it? Yeah, we're gonna. Like, you can't finish most of the without times it, we try to have really required. Oh, sorry. Like, what was that, Ray? Like required is in like you you absolutely can't complete it if you don't one turn it or just it's more. You can slower. complete it. It's just gonna be super slow. It's okay. real yeah. rough. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna like break the whole like route basically okay. because right now we know exactly who does where, who does what where. But uh, if you mess it up, you're gonna have to like do a backup, and then it's gonna be off your pattern. Okay. Yeah. So, so for we... example, we usually try to make the one turns to be these guardians because they're consistent fights. So for example, this one is always one turnable. If you draw a drill, you just use it. If not, you use Colonel's uh, signature cannon. Yeah. But sometimes, for example, the next fight with Mega that I'm about to do, like this is just kind of a random fight that if it's not required. But if you one turn, you can save a fight because it's going to clear the, the square behind Mega. So we can skip with uh, Shadow Man this phase. Oh! But if we don't get this one turn, which I will because I got a good fight and good draw. Double drill, yeah. Uh, Shadow, Man would, Shadow Man would have had to do an extra fight, which requires an extra fight and extra movement on Shadow Man's part. So now Shadow Man is just going to run straight up and get ready for his next turn instead of having to walk all the way down and then back up next turn. My god! <laughs> These four drills. Oh! Oh! That is uh, just Nightman being slow, actually. Uh, yeah, it turns out he's the slowest Navi in the game. It's fine. This for the Boktai fans out there. This that is a Boktai. super slow chip. It's like a <laughs> eight, nine second animation, but it does a lot of damage. So sometimes, generally not. 150 unblockable melting damage. It's kind of just like you use it if you have nothing else. Did one of the viruses switch sides? Yes. Uh, yeah, the big brood yeah. can actually jump around. Some of the viruses can do yeah. that. Mm -hmm. I think like some viruses' movements are moved to a square above them or below them or something, and some of them is just like jump to another square. Yeah. yeah. So whatever just jumps to another square can actually go to the other side of the if, if Melody exists. Game, they'd be able to do it, and we would hate them even more. <laughs> <laughs> oh That's man, a lot of -codes. almost live sword. Not live sword though. Oh, this fight is not required one turn, but if we one turn it, um, so usually that brute would move next to us and attack us, but since there isn't a square next to us because we one turn, it's gonna save an animation in the next phase change. Yeah. Get him, Nightman! It's Nightman. Nightman is just so good for yeah, these he's uh, so dark good hole setups. Yeah. <laughs> How much of that is because of his super armor and you can just set things up and not care if he gets hit? Yep. Yeah. His signature chip is also great. And the fact that you can double hit with this buster also comes in handy for a lot of fights. I was over there in some fights where I'm fighting the Brute, I actually pause buffer to see which direction he's moving up or down. So then I can attack him immediately after his first move rather than waiting for him to attack so he stops. Your Shadow Man, this yeah. is like, fast. It might seem a little slow to like pause buffer, but it actually makes the fight faster than waiting. Ideally, you would just have very good reaction speed, but uh, that's inhuman too risky because that fight that I just did is a required one turn. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, see you later. So funny little thing there, uh, the ice ball actually the the snowball actually picked up the time bomb, and that increased the damage of uh, Blizzardman ship. It was actually gonna win when shot anyway. It but, would. Yeah, but but yeah, it's it's one of those things that you can like put a rock cube and then use the this man over it, and then it's gonna deal more damage. One more liberation, and then time for the best boss fight technique in the entire game. Uh -oh. I don't say anything until I do it. I haven't practiced it. So. Oh, well, I, I don't know. I, not, not the execution. I'm just talking about like how it works. I love it. <laughs> I believe. 
let's just pretend it's a bad fight where it's you know very luck dependent <laughs> and all that. Let's not pretend that it's an actually consistent fight that I just have to execute on. Oh, I didn't say it was consistent. I just said it was funny. <laughs> it is, but <laughs> <laughs> it's, if this goes correctly, this is the coolest fight in the run. Really is. Yeah. Not a bad hand either. So we were supposed to finish him off all with uh, anti-damage, just the whole fight, but I got hit once and that ruins the pattern. Shout out to so I had to just use an extra chip. But yeah, this fight is Let's do really good. Shadow Man anti-damage the whole fight. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing with the some of the navvies, they have special like hidden abilities. In the case of Shadow Man, he has anti-damage. If you press B left. Uh, right before you get hit by an attack, he's actually going to jump, avoid the attack, and throw a shuriken at the enemy. So that's really, really useful for that specific fight. And also for another fight later in the run. A couple of fights later. Yeah. He's just uh, really good at fights. And that makes that fight usually super consistent. And this is part of the reason why we think Colonel is better than Proto Man uh, as a like faster because these fights just so, go so consistently with uh, mm -hmm. Shadow Man. But then and on the other Pro hand, when you do with yeah. the stress with the Proto Man navies, it's it's more sketchy, especially for a uh, one fight way later on in the run. Mm. There are no good setups, unfortunately. We just went and talked with Barrel because unfortunately, and we didn't get, see it because obviously we skipped the cutscene, Mega Man has been kidnapped. What? Yes, indeed. Mega Man is actually stolen away by Cloud Man after the last liberation. Uh, and, and as we speak, is actually being corrupted to become Dark Mega. Which means, of course, we can't do anything. Except, Barrel has loaned us a Navi. And if you look in the top left, you can see who it is. And of course, we'll see him in just a moment. Dude. So now we're <laughs> playing as Colonel for this whole segment up to the next. up until the end of the next liberation. Indeed. Uh, by or the way, we, we would not see this or the liberation that we just did if this was Ace. Yep, it'd be over already. Yeah, the run yeah. would be over by now. <laughs> well, not by now, time wise, but. Right. But now. Story scenario wise, wise I guess. Yeah. yeah. Yes, uh, Barrel lends us, well, his Navi. I mean, the one he's built up all this trust with, which of course means that, you know what, he greatly trusts Lan as well. Well, we gotta note that he lent us Colonel after he slapped Lan. Oh, yeah, no, well, yeah. Lan tried Wait, to punch what? him and then he just slapped him down. <laughs> We're gonna so Lan got mad when, uh, so I think Beryl suggests that Lan has to use another Navi, and then Lan is like, just throwing a fit. He's like, no, he, I only use Mega or whatever. He does. But, he's like, no, I'm only going to use Mega Man. He's like, you need to get over it. And he's like, oh, yeah? yeah. And he tries to punch Beryl, and Beryl goes, oh, yeah? I'm a military trained... <laughs> I'm, I'm from... I can't remember what country, but it's like, no. He just lays him out. Whereas in um, in Proto Man, you actually suck at the chod. You straight up nail him in the cheek. <laughs> yeah. So you know, Colonel Better version. Barrel uh, lazy out. <laughs> Where does so, he? So, Natopia. That's the army. <laughs> yeah. Lurkin is gonna buy the thing that we required a bug frax for now. It's called Auto Run. It's a Navicus program. And basically, the way Battle Network games uh, check if you're running is it, it doesn't actually check if you're running, but it checks if you're pressing B. And with Auto Run, you're n you don't need to press B. You're always going to be running as Mega Man. So, with that, it re greatly reduces our encounter checks because uh, we get. A lot more encounter checks if we're running instead of uh, walking, so that's really really useful for the run. 
It saves like minutes. Hey man. Shout out to the end too, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> no white sword though. <laughs> no white sword? Yeah, white sword is the best draw for that fight. You're right. Or if you're playing the Proto Man version, you just have Step Sword. True. You gotta say at least one thing about the Proto Man version, it's, it's better for that fight. <laughs> well, Pro Proto Man is a much better Navi than Colonel for fights, in my opinion. To each their own, I have a screen divide addiction. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel when I played casually and I tried, like, I beat Colonel first, and then I wanted to go play uh, Proto Man. I just couldn't do it. Like, I was just so used to the range of uh, Cross Divide. Right, and then Colonel, Colonel Cannon. I love tank cannons, so I mean, Colonel Cannon is just another tank cannon. Okay, so the BN61 uh, slip run is actually the same in the case where you don't have to press B to run. So you're always running, so you do decrease your encounter chances and you get the slip. So it's just yeah. better. Unfortunately, we are walled off here as we try to take back Dark Mega, but he has an entire army at his side, and we can't exactly kill that many guys without taking some heavy losses. So what are we going to do? We don't know. I don't know what has been the, the fix so far. So when there was a big door that we can't break, Colonel was able to break it. When there was a big turret that we can't tank, Nightman was able to tank it. There was clouds that we can't go over, Shadow Man dealt with that. I forgot to go to... Or not. So now the question becomes, who can fix a giant army of guys that we have to face down? Oh, in the meantime, let's go to a party. <laughs> if I remember correctly, the reason why we even need to get to this party in the first place is because Beryl has gotten a, an information tip that there is possibly going to be, or that there is going to be a very important program shown off on this boat, and so he assumes that Nebula will probably be after it. Yeah, Nebula, by the way, is the evil organization behind everything bad in this game. They also kidnapped uh, Lan's dad at the beginning of the game. I think we forgot to mention. Ah, uh, yes. So Lan's Nep dad and our friend's uh, pets. So this is why uh, Dex is not helping us. Indeed. We all know uh, Gutsman would have been on the team. Gutsman would have been here. But yes, while we're uh, while we're doing stamp collecting, I can explain a little bit of that. So Nebula actually existed in Battle Network Four. That was its debut game. The World Three kind of goes quiet for a couple games during this time, and Nebula takes the forefront led by the evil Dr. Regal. They essentially, you're using dark chips to, well, take over the world, spread their influence. And that's where the Dark Lords come from. They actually are generated from a place that is referred to as Merkland in here, but it's basically just cyber hell. And so Regal is thought to have died after four. And so him coming back in five is a very interesting plot point because well not only is he suddenly back but now he's working and actually he's putting a lot of plans plans to fruition after all he stole our friends pts he's now stolen mega man and everything's kind of fallen in his lap at this point and uh now bad things happen on the ship also race car yeah <laughs> This code is basically impossible to, to uh, know. I spent so long on this door as a kid. I literally think this is where I stopped playing the game for a little bit. I was like, what? I can't, I can't, I don't know what to do. I kept listening to like double one and nine two tonight makes 11. What does that even mean? Yeah, it's like some riddle that gives you the code, but it's, it's so bad. It's <laughs> like, bad. Just, yeah. Now we're chasing down an evil Navi that we saw. Chasing him through all the uh, all the operating computers for the ship. Which luckily are less confusing than the squirrel computer. <laughs> hmm. 
Everything's fine because we arrested the bad guy. All is well and nothing bad will happen. No way. Now we get to talk to everyone again. Everyone's favorite mechanic. So this is the, the super cool thing that Meta was talking about right here. Uber program. And someone attacked those navvies and we have to figure out who it is. We have to solve a riddle. Oh, murder mystery. Someone in the room jacked into that thing, but we don't know who. And they took out all the navvies. That's insane. There was like 10 of those guys. And they were all yeah. being powered up by the power by the super program. So how did they jack in? It's obviously the buffet table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we figured out that they basically jacked in through the mirror, but how did they do it through the mirror? It's a magic mirror. Of course. I played BM4, I don't know how mirrors work. They show vampires. Wait. <laughs> so we figured out that someone from outside the room basically because navies travel through like infrared or something which reflects mm -hmm. so someone from outside the room had those mirrors lined up to jack in and then they ran away after they did it so instead Fun of fact. going the normal way we're gonna go through this vent to find who it is very suspicious indeed he knocked out someone here i don't know what the case with that guy is but He's been knocked out. He basically tells you, oh gosh, they got away. Oh, they're going to the ship, the hole, or the front. Potentially the best comps in the game if they go well, but also great music. You right. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, so infrared is a bit powered up in, uh, in this particular case. And also, uh, fun fact, in BN 1 through 3, it was you had a wired PET, and starting in 4, you have wireless. With the one exception being the True. BN2 uh, projectile wireless connector. Yeah. <laughs> How many failed runaways are you expecting? And many hurts? I'm expecting two. Yeah. <laughs> Be optimistic. Yeah, so Colonel has a uh, 75% run rate here. All right. All right. Great so far. Basically, the mechanic of these dungeons is that we're underwater. There's that like breath bar, I guess, how much air Colonel has on the right side. We kind of just ignore it because we just take one damage a second. It really should have made you die faster. <laughs> like that's yeah. Yeah, you can just completely ignore the mechanic, and it doesn't matter. Should we make other it? Other than that, there is like little, I don't know, air something pushing us that we have to avoid getting pushed through. I don't know how we didn't. And there's typhoons that, <laughs> if you get caught on them, they like slow you. I didn't. <laughs> you grabbed the reg up. <laughs> you grabbed the wrong GMT. Oh BMD. no! That's <laughs> fine. I knew this was gonna happen one day. <laughs> it was a uh, Nebula Gray Omega muscle memory. That's what it is. Yeah, I was doing 100 percent uh, a couple months back, and you have to grab that. What a great time! Yeah, you know, also, if you get hit by those uh, cyclones, I don't know what to call them exactly. But I think they're technically like by those, eddies, but... Yeah, you lose some of your uh, air tank bar. I don't know what to call that either. Oxygen. <laughs> yeah, oxygen there. Yeah, you lose that. And Herc. also first Herc. And yeah. And you just lose a little bit of time because... Uh, they're not stops. Just, yeah, and you're not moving. Gets hit by that. Yeah. It's, fine. it's not that big of a deal. Like it's what, like a thirty second thing. Could definitely be bigger mistakes. Right. Okay. Here's what they do with drowning. They make it the Thunderman scenario from BN4. Hear me out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting. They don't have to make it the continue three level where you're losing like I think what 40 HP or 50 HP a tick, but you know it's it's a significant amount of HP you're losing per tick. Well, these shakies yeah. are the worst fires in the game. They truly are. I don't like them. 
So this area actually has three keys that you need to collect to open the door, so... Actually grab two, and then we go back to the start, and then we go grab the third one. I'm just glad that there's air bubbles just hanging out down here, like in Sonic. Take them in there. <laughs> and even if there's not, really don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. The drowning is a state of mind. So one day I'm waiting to like walk past this GMB and... <laughs> just walk straight <laughs> to the warp. Aww. I don't need that, right? Wait. <laughs> So uh, that's already worse than what I predicted, and there's still yeah. a comp and a half. <laughs> now, I still, the sad part is we don't get the voice lines from the DS version. Like, here it comes, Lan Hikari. I'm counting on you, Lan Hikari. <laughs> Good job, Lan Hikari. <laughs> <laughs> that is sadly what we, are, what we are missing from this run. <laughs> I didn't forget any keys this time. Oh, unfortunate. Nice encounter. Okay. Oh, yikes. Herc. Herc, Herc. it's four. <laughs> oh, God. 75%, by the way. Ah. It's 75. <laughs> Wait, these are 95? 75. Oh, 70, okay, okay. Basically, everything at this point is 75. Okay. There's going to be a hurt. couple of spots where we have uh, 50s, but... Oh, hey, are you going to... Um, well, actually, we're getting close, but are you going to explain... Actually, are you doing... The um the tech or bug here? Oh uh, yes. Excellent. Okay, cool. We'll we'll get the to that. One. Rag glitch? Yeah, the rag glitch. glitch. I don't remember if it was a glitch or a <laughs> I think from our Kumari can probably uh explain it best. Yeah. So I'm yeah, gonna be so trying to do the fight. You guys remember when Lurky mentioned uh reg memory and ragging chips, so you always get them in battles? Yeah. So now uh, we can actually do a, a glitch with this. N nice book, Frag, by the way. <laughs> uh, so if you open the menu and you swap the slots uh, of your rag chip with another chip, then you exit the menu, save, reset, soft reset the game without closing the menu. You actually, when you go into the next battle, you're gonna have the other chip as your rag chip and not the one that's actually ragged. Like here, he's swapping it with anti-fire, saving the game, soft resetting, and then when he starts the next fight, which is gonna be against Tomahawk Man, which is a wood element navy, he's gonna have anti-fire as his rag chip. It's not actually ragged, it's a glitch. But yeah, that's super useful and we can only use it with on this specific fight because it only works with other navvies that are not Mega Man. So it works with other navvies that are not Mega Man outside of Liberation missions. Yeah. But in the JP version of the game, it actually works on Liberation missions. So running the Japanese version, Wait, what? you would actually have Ray Glitch for every non-Mega Man fight in every Liberation. Really? So you would think, why do people run the US version? Doesn't JP just better? But JP has so many extra comps and screens. Like, for example, that last area, the ship comps has four comps oh, yeah. rather than three. And then the same goes for the next dungeon. It's going to have four rather than three. So on. Because they had to free up memory for some reasons for the US version. So they cut out a lot of comps, which makes the US version faster. Yeah. Interesting. That's why, like, this is one of the runs... I think it's like this and B and 2 are the only versions where like the US and the JP versions uh, actually have very different strats. Because you'll see the B and 2 one when the B and 2 run happens next month. But uh, there's also like a bug that's exclusive to it. I mean, the B and yeah. 4 one technically differs, but you know, it's just. You know, oh, yeah, I forgot anything. Yeah. No one runs BN4, you guys. That's why I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was under the impression this would be a rather quick jaunt to get Mega Man back, but... Oh, no. No, it's actually, yeah, it's a couple, like... Like, runtime-wise, it's like... Let's see, I beat Cloud Man at 125. It's like... 25, Close to 30, 30 minutes. minutes. Yeah. yeah. 
Now, we finally reached the army of guys again. And we're like, oh no, how do we deal with them? Well, Tomahawk Man shows up and kills all 12 of them with one swing. So. Oh. And now we have Tomahawk Man. Pretty good. It's also a green heavy. True. And there's Dark Mega. Hopefully this is the only time that we see him show up this uh, this run. <laughs> so I don't need to do this fight. This is a backup that we usually do for Zenny, but I'm going to do it anyways, because if I one turn, there's another item panel behind me that has uh, the best chip in the game. It's not actually the best chip, but it's my favorite chip, and I want it. <laughs> no, it's the best chip. Every chip is the best chip. We discussed this. <laughs> what are we, so, like, in this, for this run now? specifically, this was probably slower. I should have just passed with Shadow Man, but I want this Aqua World 2-0. It's such a great chip. And then we get more Zenny. Oh, no, we okay, mentioned this one before, so it's still, like, three or four. And to, yeah. uh, to stand up for uh, for BN4, because I see there's some chat about it in the chat, BN4 is a good game and an incredible speed run, so. True. We're BN4 fans here. Oops. Tomahawkman is also great in combat. He does a lot of damage. Yep. And he has good range and uh Um This is actually good. Yeah, so there are a couple of required one turns in this liberation <laughs> as well. This one was not a required, but the next uh, big bro we fight with Colonel is actually going to be a required one. And again, not exactly required. We can still finish the liberation with that. It's just going to be slow. This one is nice because the strat for this fight is actually really cool, and you can only do it if. Uh... So you usually grab copy damage first, but for this one, we actually grab a chip first. Yeah. Different. Just a cool. Oh! I love ah. the setup. I can discuss any cool stuff. Oh. I'll try Blady as in this one. E. Yeah, so here we have to one turn, basically. But it is a consistent. Uh, some draws make it faster to one turn. <laughs> Life Sword? Shout out to Life Sword, by the way. Hey, yo! This is actually, fans. wait, this is actually bad. If he attacks from the back... It's fine. Oh, please. oh no, please come to the front. <laughs> no! Oh, no, like this. oh no! <laughs> we threw for content, it's fine. We'll manage, we'll manage. Consistent one turn. <laughs> we threw for content, it's okay. <laughs> uh, what do I even do now? Um, it's for the fans. <laughs> See, how do I want to do this? Let's do it like this. Sure, I don't know anymore. <laughs> we're going, we're going so rogue. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, we we appreciate it lurking. Thank you very much. Okay. Bust him down. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh no! This one doesn't matter. This one doesn't need to be. Yeah. <laughs> was that fun. eight? You're right. Yeah. yeah no, we do it's, one damage. It, that's the problem with Nightman. He has zero range. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, no! I'm gonna do this with Thalmahike. What are you hoping for on here? This one doesn't matter what we get. This is actually probably <laughs> the best outcome. Ours. Funnily enough, this might actually just work, right? <laughs> It just works. I think you just lose one turn with Nightman. Huh. Because you did the next uh, next fight. I think you would do the uh, the Dark Hole after this with Nightman. Yeah, but we can do it the next turn. So everything is just one turn behind. Yeah, yeah. But at the end, it's going to be like just the one extra fight. Yeah. Huh. It's not It's not a big deal. This is a shout out to Lucky Typhlosion for coming up with this strat. You pass on the enemy tile. Wait, what? To manipulate. Yeah, so you can pass on the tile to manipulate. Oh, the invincibility, let's go! This brute to attack <laughs> from this set position. Bonk. And now, 
uh, the brute is a consistent one. It also makes this guy come up here. Maybe he always does. I'm not sure. That like both of yeah, those yeah. are in exactly the correct spots to one turn. And one turning brute <laughs> is 100% consistent if you don't go for life sword. We here at Team V are here for content. <laughs> Oh, I could have killed him there if I was smarter. Punk. He's just gonna die from my trash shot. Oh, oops. Uh, I guess it was. No, yeah. I think so, yeah. <laughs> was that our first team, BN? Shout out. Oh, I'm surprised we went that long. So, yeah, if you're interested in Battle Network games or even some of the Battle Network adjacent games, uh, you can go to speedrun.com onto any of the Battle Network pages, and there's a Discord invite to Team BN. Um, an example of Battle Network adjacent games, if you picked up one step from Eden the other year. Very and by the one step. Uh, openly inspired by Battle Network. And also, we also have so a lot of people uh, on Team Star BN Force, who play that game. If you're a, you a DS person and sure. you're a fan of Star Force, we also had a lot of uh, answer of those. With Star Force is so good. That should have double hit. Wait, Come what? Aww. Oh. Yeah, uh, we mentioned how dark holes have consistent setups. This one is one of the few that does not. There's just yeah, no good way to do this. <laughs> like for this one, you just hope to draw anti fire and it just kills everything. But other than that, it's it's kind of just dependent on how the enemies line up, where they stand, and all that. Yeah. Yeah. This is another required one turn because it opens the dark hole and it gets the item, which is the key that we need to get to the next part of the liberation. Oh, we didn't have this just dinky size of area here. Like we'd actually be able to use the drills. He moved six <laughs> times twice. Oh, he moved six times twice. This is That's just unlucky. Like, <laughs> uh, this is bad now. Like yeah. now, this is actually bad. <laughs> Great. I think you just do a surrounded fire with. I just do a surrounded, and right. I hope I one turn. Yeah. Well, no. I mentioned Nightman because <gasps> you would Wait. still have it. Nah, you just do the brute. Yeah. This is a team. <laughs> with Colonel, probably. I guess. Yeah, with Colonel. Yeah, I think Colonel. Yeah. This should be. This should be consistent, because he can't. <laughs> the brute saved us. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I'm just gonna go, you can for just this. go for that. You I can mean, just wait I, for him to. I'm just gonna wait for him. Okay, from back there and rock shot. You fool! You fell into my rock trap! It's funny because usually so it's always lib one where the brutes troll you by how many times they move. Yeah. <laughs> but at this time it's just happening in nope. the four, which is this is never the case, but <laughs> starting with four moves, the big brute can attack, and it's uh pretty unlikely that it moves six times before attacking. <laughs> so <laughs> Yeah. It usually moves four times. Most of the times. We have Buster up, so we can finally do damage. Oh, he's gonna get stuck. This one just kind of sucks. Okay. No! Oh no. Oh, this oh. is bad now. Um, okay, we have, have Buster up. It's fine. I have Blizzard. Blizzard. I'm just gonna wait for him to attack. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not risking this anymore. <laughs> yeah, you ain't feeling brave there, Chief. So you can actually get a triple delete in that fight, but the timing is a little bit weird. Yeah, so sometimes, sometimes, the, yeah, sometimes yeah. the shaky gets stuck on that box that the, the b-boy is pushing, and then that makes it very easy. But if he doesn't get stuck, the shaky is moving too quick. And just pretty, uh, should be good. This is some real content right here. <laughs> I don't know. If, I think this should go off until. Yeah, I just just anti. But there we go. Yeah, it hasn't hit yet. Don't care yet. Excellent. Nice Honestly, thing about I still think it's not gonna mess up my overall pattern. Because next turn I can do what I usually do. I'm not sure. I think the blade is gonna. Oh, he's gonna move. Things up. Well, yeah, I'll probably yeah. take a panel. This is a nice one, though. Getting Django here is good. Umari is suffering on the inside. 
<laughs> Every time a time stop chip goes off, Komari's heart stops as well. <laughs> I don't even pick up Django anymore, honestly. Yeah. We actually got it from the lotto codes. Oh. Uh, Wait, this should be fine. This not, should be fine. Yeah. Yeah, I do you it can the just back. uh yeah, exactly. Yeah. Come on, man's kinda low, but yeah, that's that's about it. He only does one more fight, it's fine. Hey you're right. And so we'll just have to go from here. Now the one turn will open the dark hole next turn. Alright. Bill and no uh, kill. Lord. Can't wait to test out the, the, the lip five strat that I came up with that I haven't done in a run yet. Oh, I'm so excited! <laughs> Someone say content. What's that? The one that saves uh, movement. Yeah, it's doing the dark right. hole with a uh, colonel instead. New strats live. <laughs> nice draw. For this oh, fight, we need to draw just in our shot. For your yeah. viewing enjoyment. Ooh. You fire your thing. Now, Nyman just being slow again. <laughs> Nyman, <laughs> please. Another, and yeah, another we shot. have another shot. Can the other guy attack first? Okay, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was actually a counter hit. If it was a little bit late, he would have blocked it with his bow. Oh, God. <laughs> This is like. I go for it. Do I go for it? Get it. The Shadow Man fight. I believe. And I have no backup, so do I pass? I think I pass. Let's be smart for once. <laughs> <laughs> what? These guys have the jankiest head blocks out of like any enemy. Yeah. If you hit the box before him, it pushes him back to the very back. It's true. He just snaps to the back, and then it, that makes him dodge the ship. I still love the Colonel Slow interactions with those poor boys. Should I go for content? I'm going for content. It's the worst thing right. can happen. Oh boy, here we go. Oh boy. I believe! <laughs> ah! So basically, same strat as Cloudman. Oh no, he's gonna dark sword me! <laughs> <laughs> just dodge it, just be left. The thing it. is that uh, Dark Mega's attacks or patterns is just not consistent. There's is, no pattern. Sometimes like he just, just keeps using his uh, pellet shots and you win you just one turn him. Yeah. Oh did he dodge your drill? I know, so drill actually pushes them back. Yeah, he pushes oh, them back. Oh okay, okay. So Oh cactus? One more. Okay, I we go. You <laughs> nice. <Gotcha. laughs> but yeah, this fight can actually be a one turn of just B left if he keeps firing pellet shots. But usually he just starts throwing chips that you can't. <laughs> Maybe didn't Dark Sword you? Yeah, he area grabbed me. So usually if he's going to use Dark Sword, we just move to the back. But <laughs> since he area grabbed, if he Dark Sword, I was just dead. So at this point, uh, oh, there was Regal. <laughs> Bye, Regal. Um, at this point, we have saved Mega Man. He's back. <laughs> Dude, However, really think. and yeah, oh, now we can Mark. use Chaos Unison, the thing that I talked before, uh, talked about before. Uh, we are you. D you didn't buy Dark Drill yet, right, Lurkin? Yeah, no, I'll buy it now. So yeah, there, there are two chips that we are gonna be able to use with the Chaos Unison this uh, run. Dark Drill and Dark Wide. Dark Wide is more of a late game thing. You're gonna be doing late later in the run, but we can already do Dark Drill as soon as Lurkin buys it. But uh, yeah, now since Mega Man was infected with Dark Chips when he was kidnapped, it, it's not like we had used Dark Chips before that anyway, like, right? No, no. Why would yeah. you ever use Dark Chips? They're they're evil. <laughs> yeah. Of course. So he was infected with dark chips after being kidnapped. So now he kind of still has his dark soul. Uh, Indeed. In in him. So yeah, that's why we can use Chaos Unison. It's a really essence. nice mechanic. Cool essence. And at this point, 
we have the auto run that we mentioned in, so I am not holding B at all for the rest of the run as I'm using Mega Man. The run, like it's just auto run, and that you can see I'm getting no encounters. It's because of auto run. Yeah. Otherwise, we would be getting like to an area or maybe more. We're preserving the B the button. Game just what was that, man? But yeah, the, the game just thinks that Lurkin is uh, walking and not running, so he gets way less encounter checks. This is why we need the eight bug frags, and why basically it's like if you don't, you are losing so much time. You're better yeah. off farming bug frags for like 15, 20 minutes than skipping. Uh... Oh wow! Yeah, mm. it saves so much time. See, that was the first encounter, I think. Yep, that was oh, the yeah. first encounter in this whole trip. Still 75%, by the way. I think it's 50 at this point in here. What was it? No, like Not this. I think it's like 50 until we get like two more. I might be wrong, I don't know. I just remember at some point someone mentioning that it's 50, but... Probably lucky. Be lucky. Lucky, please. Because <laughs> I remember complaining about 75% when I was there. I was like, why am I never running? And someone was like, it's actually 50. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'd believe it since it's a... Uh and area, and uh, we haven't had Mega Man for a while, so soul HP is definitely 50. It's like kind of low. Nice 50%. <laughs> I mean, it, it's always 50%, right? At the end yeah, of the either, day, so. either run or you don't, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is like actually like the longest like just running around segment of the run, which is so good that we it's right when we get a uh, auto run because we have to run through all of side lab and all of end area. A yeah. Lot of screens. This whole scenario is basically that actually. Yeah. <laughs> the, this the running this whole part of the run is yeah. everyone's least favorite. Yeah, because we gotta we basically gotta go check out like oh hey the last uh, kind of the last end area the last bastion of Nebula's forces are way in the back of this area, but we don't have a good shortcut. And then this time there's going to be a, a gate that we don't know how to open. Oh, so we're we... going to need some sort of person who knows how to hack to open. Indeed, it's encoded. Uh, now, it's apparently it's selected two random numbers. We have no idea how to determine what they are. Uh, we also have a new member on the team, so maybe that new member knows how to open the door? I don't know. Very true. Oh, that'd be that'd be too convenient. That wouldn't happen. That would be right? convenient. I know. <laughs> like, what are the chances that we meet the correct person who knows how to solve the next problem that we have? Indeed, with this mystery door. Except uh, Number Man, who joined us, changed his mind. He's like, actually, I have something else to do. Well, unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, Miss Mari called it a very inopportune time, and well, Higsby is kind of on the hook to go help her out, and you know. Guys, yeah, so it's like you know, hey, oh, we'll put it up to tomorrow. Work. It's Words. fine. Yeah, nothing bad will happen between now and tomorrow that will possibly delay our liberation of that area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what catches on fire? Well, <laughs> mm. <laughs> technically, weird shenanigans start happening here because we go and uh, we go and get Higsby. To help us out with this computer, because of course he's a he's. A so I think we're wondering, guy. like, when Dad got kidnapped, Dad was like, "I have something to show you, so bring your friends to Sci Lab and I'm gonna yep. show you this cool thing." And then, you know, here we are, two hours later, like, wait, what did Dad want to show us? What was? Like, it? So oh we're yeah. To figure it out. But we don't know how to use the computer, so we got we get Higsby. And the computers are hard. It out. Yeah, thanks, Higsby. Higsby's just being a little weird. Hey, but it's kind of strange because he was supposed to have already gone back to ACDC, but like, hey, I guess we caught him before you went. So I don't know what it is, but something, some hint tells us to talk to the doghouse from here. So we talk to our doghouse, and we're looking for a dog called Gao. Gao Wow, by the way. I believe Gao it wow. is <laughs> it, it is Yuichiro's letter. To his son, which is Vol saying something like, don't get like Gal get wet or 
Um, it's yeah, don't basically don't leave him outside. And if it's raining, be a good boy and let him in. And it's supposed to be like, oh, well, wait, the dog house, but not the one in front, the one behind the house. Yeah, there's two dog houses, even though we only see one. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> yeah. The next Actually, time we go to the house, you could like look like, you know, the dog house is next to the front door and like when you're in ACDC. Also, welcome but when back you go to inside of the house, the dog house is across from the front door. So there are there are two dog houses. Indeed, indeed. So now we've discovered that apparently this data we're looking for is hidden underneath under the floorboards. <laughs> Through the floor in an old filter comp in an old mine. We found what we wanted. We don't have to walk back, thank goodness, because that's the third time we have to go through the mine. Oh my god, that would have been awful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you actually never have to run back. Like in just the normal game, it always takes you back to the beginning. You never run backwards. It's nice. It's like whenever like I was doing 100% and I had to run backwards, it felt so awkward. Like I didn't know how to do movement because I'm not used to it. <laughs> like wait, I don't have to go back. What? And we meet Higsby again in N in N City. In N area. In City, All over the yeah. place today. And now we are trying to go into the castle because we want to look at cool stuff, but they tell us that there's something going on with the big castle that we passed by in End Area 3 over there. So we're just gonna go check it out, tell them everything's okay, and they'll let us in. Exactly. Of course there's some HP memory here. I think it's gonna that be two encounter encounters. fell really early. Yeah, I think I'm getting two encounters. Yikes. Yeah, so we've been here before, but the reason why we pick up this HP memory now instead of the the other trip earlier is because uh, since we don't have to go all the way through this area on this trip, we usually skip one encounter if we get the HP memory on this trip. Lurkin just got a really, really early it's one. It's whether you get it or not, you will get one here. Yeah. But in the earlier, earlier trip, if we skip it, we generally skip one encounter. Yeah. I skipped one encounter. Nice. So yeah. Yo! And we, uh, we fix it up. Apparently somebody me been messing with it. Got it to mom's room. <laughs> Somebody in this room is called mom's room. If you open the menu. That's a weird translation. <laughs> it's gotta be, right? Like, I think it's supposed to be a shortcut for like mummy room or something. <laughs> ah, yeah, that would make sense. <laughs> okay, so we're jacking in here to grab a chip. Is a uh, airspin 2O or 2B. O is in BN6. Which is another like really good chip that we're gonna add to the folder. Did I buy the dark drill? I did, right? Probably did. I would have realized something was off. I mean, you said you were going to buy the dark drill. I'm pretty sure I did. I think. Yeah, you did. You did. Wait, 100 duck sized viruses? Okay, so here's what would happen there. We'd find all 100 duck sized viruses, bust them into bits, and then they would reform into a giant bug beast, and we would call it Goosebull. <laughs> Shout out to uh, BN2. You're right. <laughs> so now we are actually going to check what Dad wanted to show us because we got a key to something in ACDC Area 3. And I don't know, there was like a whole riddle of like where it is in ACDC in AC 3. Yeah, I don't remember the riddle, but I do remember See, where it the is. The riddle is uh, third is. um. It is third area, yeah. fourth square. There, find a way to Orin, open its center. That's what it is. Very so, impressive, Meta. What the thing is, is. I couldn't figure that one out for a while. I'm in ACDC town from like 10 years ago before Land was born. And this is Gao. Gao Wow. Gao Wow. Gao Wow. Yeah, so here everyone is talking about how uh, Mrs. and Mr. Ikari are going to have kids called Land and Hub. So this is like right before we were born. By the way, Hub is Lan's uh, dead brother. 
who is no Mega Man. Whoa, spoilers. <laughs> yeah, whoa, whoa. <laughs> we actually discovered uh, that's the case. I think it'd be in one. I want to say. Oh, yeah, folder edit. I wasn't even thinking about it. Folder edit. This is uh, not the last, but the last really big folder edit in the room. Bunch of bad guys here looking for Gao Wow. Did I put in Dark Drill? Put it in later. Oh, okay. I am. Yeah, Either Dark Drill is not particularly useful right now. That's fair. Because Dark Drill is pretty bad against viruses. It's good against uh, bosses. Bosses. Yeah, no, for other sure. Navies. So, for the time being, Actually, we're just going to fight them. viruses. So. That's right. Mm -hmm. I wasn't sure when we added it. So, at this point, we took out all our bad ships, added in good ships. We hope to draw the good ships, but we won't. <laughs> Shout us to BN4. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the thing with the uh, folder edits in BN5, they're not as consistent as in some other games like 6 or 4, for example. Uh, it kind of depends on what you get during the run. You're not always going to get the exact same thing, so... Of course, some of the things, yes, you're always going to get like a lot of codes, uh, chips. But uh, you might be short on drill arms on one run, or you might not get Aqua Whirl or stuff like I that. I am so sad. Submarine, please. My Aqua Whirl <laughs> made that water block for him to hide in. <laughs> <laughs> I got a trade by Aqua Whirl. Trade? <laughs> I took like a 20 second detour to get it. <laughs> This is the thanks I get for going out of the way for you. <laughs> Yo, Aqua World, he's Amazing. come for his redemption. <laughs> there we go. All right. Redeemed. I actually put it in the top of the folder. I probably shouldn't have, but... It really have no, it's a great chip. It's a great chip. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. It's great. It's just unfortunate if I... Hey, look, there it is again. <laughs> See, it's come back. <laughs> he's here for you. Aqua just wants to prove itself. Put it, how did I put in the wrong code? How does this happen? I wow, that it. was perfectly not hitting anything. That's really unfortunate. So there is the code that I do. Trade Aqua World. Oh, yo, so the code that I do is like. So the code that we put in is like down, left, <laughs> up, right, down. So I kind of spin my finger around the D pad. But one code is like down, down, left, left. It's like I click down, left at some point. Wait, what? Oh, oops. I'm not a BN3 runner, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Look on, Let's okay. get a good ship. Let's get Aqua World. Get Aqua World. <laughs> Thank you, Aqua World. See, Aqua World is so easy. Ah, <laughs> oh, no Aqua World said. Dark White Attack! <laughs> yeah. Dark White is really good for viruses. Oh yeah. 300 damage. Yeah, for these fights, Dark White is our favorite draw. We don't want too many of it because we can't use too many of it. But... Yeah, but that was a good Dark Chip usage there. It's been a while, so... Yeah, I actually keeps... went back to Light Mega, I'm pretty sure. So now I am back wow. to yeah. pretty low Karma. So I'm, I'm just going to try to... Mega. So you're back yeah, to so back 480 meta. or whatever? 480, meta. yeah. So we... one thing is like basically what matters is we should never go below 470. Yeah, that's bad. And we lose four per usage and then gain one per fight that we don't use it in. Up to so now I'm just gonna not use it for the, like, a while, probably like until Number Man, which it would, we'd probably be back to like 490 by then. Yeah, around. So then when I use it, I'll be still like pretty high, but not over 500. Because if I go over 500 again and I use it. We're gonna go back to 480, and we're getting to the point soon where we want to be using a lot of dark chips. Mm -hmm. So we want to like when we get to near like the boss rush, we want to be as high as we can that isn't 500, like 499 before the boss rush is. It's perfect. Yeah. 
We go back. Talk to Barrel. Barrel says they stole Gao Wow, and you go, yes, they stole Gao Wow. And, and Dingu, like, we tell him that, like, Number Man might be related to Nebula, and he's like, just don't worry about it, go to sleep. That too, yeah. For some reason, every time we've run into Higsby or Number Man in the last day, it's been really weird. And then we get a cutscene actually showing how Number Man is out protecting uh, Miss Mari's Navi, but suddenly Mega Man shows up and shoots him. But we were asleep, so what happened? Oh, yeah, I need to go to the net first. Try to fight a victory screen. I think it's victory screen for Karma, isn't it? Uh, victory screen, yeah. Okay. Because, like, it depends on the start of the fight, like, if you use the Dark Chip in that fight or not. Right. So, if you use the Dark Chip in the fight, it goes down after the fight. If you don't use it, it goes up. One thing that throws me off about Dark Chips in this game is the fact that you don't actually get the bugs that you do in 4. Yeah. What do you mean? So, in 4. It's pretty good, actually. In 4, there's actually a specific bug that you get from selecting each different type of Dark Chip. For instance, Dark Sword will make you always move forward. It essentially desires the blood of the viruses. Um, Dark Bomb will make you move backwards, as in you're, you know, positioning yourself to throw it into their area and destroy them all. Dark Vulcan will confuse you. Um, a dark Spread will make you leave poison panels? Dark Cannon gives yes. Buster Bug. It's not even Buster Bug, like it completely. Uh, oh, know, it nukes your buster, your buster, that's right. It yeah. Minimizes all stats on your Buster, which is minimizes really. Minimizes all bad. stats, and if you try to char uh, do a charge shot instead of uh, actually firing a Buster shot, you, uh, Mega Man fires like nothing and it's just like flowers. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> from this <laughs> mega yeah that's funny some nasty stuff but it's an exchange for power so I so here um there is the one big ninja dude samurai dude indeed uh, in the castle that just lost all of his equipment and we need to get it back for him so we can proceed to open the door does it make sense I don't know but yeah, he can't be a samurai so without like... equipment. Yeah, so we have to jack into all of these uh, armors and then defeat the navvies in them. We got his katana back, now for the helmet and then the, the armor. This is the security program here, as opposed to the security in Scilab, which is rearrange the letters. This one is fight, 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 fight. Ah. Ah. So you can get the yeah, copy damage is, off yeah. the bat, but like you have to be very, very quick. This is the last one. Good draws in all of them. Nice. I could have just sorted him, but it's cool. Could. That was much cooler, <laughs> Logan. Okay, I wanted to show off that I do know how to do bar sort codes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mess them up twice. The redemption arc. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now for the real reason why BN5 is the best game. Yep. Everyone's favorite part of the game as well, of course, because why wouldn't it be? We're about, man to, challenge. we're about to watch Lurking become a man here as he takes on <laughs> the 100 man challenge. Oh, this, I remember this. Here it comes. They're coming. <laughs> so we just have to kill 100 of these guys. So they question. get faster. So every 20, you get faster. So we get a different color. It's pretty easy, except for between colors, like like after the whites go away and then the blues start coming in, or whatever color is next yellow. Yep. Because they're different yeah, speeds, they might line up very awkwardly to where they arrive at your position at the exact same time. And Indeed. Screwed. Now, you usually want to hit the uh, hit the higher color at that point. That's what I figured out for that one. Yeah. So these transitions have been very nice, because the reds are not coming out until the yellows are done. 
But when the blues come out, they might come out at the exact same time as the red one is getting to you. A question, are you a D-pad or an analog stick guy for this? I'm part? a D-pad. All right. So this has been to, really nice. There's one more transition that's going to happen. Do you have to press a button to swing or just be facing the right direction? Uh, you press B. And then to turn, you actually have to press the diagonal. So I'm pressing like upright, not just upright or left or down. Oh, nice transition. Very kind transition. Yeah, this was very nice. This can get very, very spooky. About to depending say. Depending on the patterns. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think like the worst part of it is that you have to press diagonals to turn. I'm used to it, and I think like after you're used to it, it's not bad, but it can be very awkward at first to just only press diagonals. Yeah, the diagonal and D-pad is a little rough. Chad, are you ready to embrace your inner ninja? Fight on. Fight on. <laughs> on. I love this music, but this comp is yeah. so confusing when you're not doing the puzzle. It's also very confusing when you're doing the puzzle. Like when you know the movement, it's fine. But like when you don't know what ninjas are where and you have to look for them, it's, it's pretty annoying. But oh, I just find it a cool for whatever we have to return. For Devil Strat on Comp Three, by the way. What? Don't. I don't really remember how it was, but uh, I'll do it. All right, all right. <laughs> I was thinking I won't, but you had to mention it, so now I have to. <laughs> <laughs> you can't mention that there's new strats and then not go for them, right? Yeah. So what we're learning is mind your seventy five percent, but as you never mind. So what we're learning is it's very easy to peer pressure lurking. <laughs> 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 Only if it's stuff that I actually wanted to do in the first place. Okay, fair. Was, but I was telling myself <laughs> not to. So like when you peer pressured yourself into going for the content in that liberation mission earlier. Oh yeah. <laughs> it worked. The power of light. So what's going on with go these on. ninja bots? All right. So while you're going ahead and doing that, I'll explain this a bit. So each ninja bot corresponds to a different kind of trap. The red ones correspond to the spear trap. The blue ones correspond to the water trap. And the white ones correspond to the ceiling trap. You have to get a certain, uh, you have to get a certain color of ninja, and later on a certain number of those ninja. Well, you have to clear the traps so the Mega Man can go forward without getting caught in the traps because they won't let you progress forward. Now, each time you run into a ninja, if you have a ninja of a different color, it will swap with that ninja. But if you have a ninja of the same color, it will tag along with them. So if I have a red ninja, I run into a red ninja. Well, now I'm going to have two red ninjas. And if I run into a white ninja later, it'll swap one of those reds out for a white. Yeah, so right after this fight, I already have a red one. So when I run into the red one right here, I'm going to have two reds. And that's the next puzzle. Uh, the next trap is two spear traps back to back. So we just grab the two reds and then they'll uh, jump over them and click the buttons across a bit to disable the trap. But too fast for the spear trap. So uh, these comps are pretty long, and Lurking just doesn't go like straight towards the end. He has to like backtrack a little bit to get different ninjas and all. So we already get a fair number of encounters with Auto Run. So imagine if we didn't have auto run. We'd oh get my so god! Many more encounters. Like with auto run, we're getting about the same number of encounters that we did in other comps, like you know, drill comps, for example. Yeah. <laughs> we find a blue ninja hidden behind a ceiling trap. We take it back. Grab the second and use the water strider. Yeah. Dang it. <laughs> yeah, and as we mentioned in JP version, uh, there's actually four screens instead of three for this comp. Oh, the fun fact, they were added back in the DS version. The DS version has all the, the stuff from the JP version, but just it's in English and voice acting. Email, Lan Hikari. Got email, Lan. <laughs> what happened, Lan?
favorite one is in the title screen where it says like Mega Man Battle Network 5. I do like that one. Mega Man Battle Network 5 Double Team DS. Three so, red. I, I think I remember the news chat. I think I remember it. Let's go, let's go. Like pick up the extra white one so you can go back and forth for the blue one or for the white one. I think. Flying Do I one. really know what I'm doing? <laughs> I believe it's, it's, it's fine. I think it's the red one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, we grab this guy here. Yeah. And we need to grab the extra red here. So then we grab the white one and keep him. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. So for the old strat, we used to just. Uh, run around the red ones which introduces extra movement but this one like there's just like there is a way to just barely do extra movement but still pick up all the that's pretty cool so we clean. believe it saves an encounter on average and a little bit of movement shout out to devil uh japanese runner who's been doing this strat also that was only the second failed runaway right uh, I had like two or three now. Not the worst. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's not too bad. I think other, end area was bad, but other than end area, everything's been pretty good. No. Uh, in terms of... But factory comps haven't happened yet, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the final dungeons are very long, and we have to also use other navvies that aren't Mega Man, so we don't have auto run. You would think the like... Shadow Man would add auto. That would make sense, but. Like less encounter rate. I mean, he's a nin. Yeah, but no he's gotta be sneaky. He so can't says. run. He gotta go slow to be sneaky. <laughs> now we fight Number Man. Anyway, uh, Shadow Man doesn't even. Well, no, he does run. Oh. I mean, Sneak Run is called Shinobi Dash in, in Japanese, so. Dang. Ooh. There goes my attempt at logic. <laughs> <laughs> now, Number Man is a fellow we've uh, we've actually fought before in uh, EN1. Um, let's just hope he walks up. He will. He will. <laughs> I believe! Okay. I mean, he okay, did. That's fine. that's fine. Look, look. Because now we're dark, so we're guaranteed to draw Dark White next turn. Dark White cannot miss. Well, it Wait, can. Dark guarantees Dark Chip draw? Oh! Yeah, when you're dark, yeah, you always draw dark the Dark guarantees. Chip. Yeah. Didn't realize that. Huh. And so we actually beat Number Man. It turns out it was all a misunderstanding because there were actually two imposters in this game that looked like Lan and Higsby and also had imposters of Mega Man and Number Man. Uh, anyway, we kicked them to the curb and, uh, and well, no more imposters. We got them. Rue one. <laughs> And hey, now Higsby is not obligated to uh, protecting Ismari's Navi because they're not on a not date anymore. So time to go open the door. So now we go liberate uh, and area five. Yes. Which will be what, one of probably like most people's favorite uh, Dark Lloyd. Dark Lord, Dark Lloyd. I don't know which one it is. I do. Um, I do like this Dark Lloyd. Yeah. He's kind of like been the big evil guy that like always talks in cutscenes or something. Like you, you know you're gonna fight him eventually. He's the laser man equivalent. And I did yeah. love laser man. I'm actually kinda of sad he didn't come back for this game. I'm sick. that set that we get is pretty good. We have Blizzard Man, we have Shade Man, who just will not go away. Yeah. Shade Man. Through Cloud Man, we have uh, and we have a uh, guy coming up. Yeah, this Liberation also has a couple of required one turns. Yep. But we also have a much better folder yeah, now. Carefully. This Liberation so. is, shouldn't be too bad, but for some reason yeah. I'm so good at messing it up. <laughs> I think like every PB that I've had has messed up this next liberation. 
Oh, you're it's right. fine. Th this time you can just blame the new strat that you're gonna try. True. <laughs> it's not gonna change much. There we go. Oh, finally, <laughs> just number one man. fight that's different. But we tell Shadow Man he has to go guard the door because uh, like, yeah, watch out in case someone tries to come in or something to right. ambush us or something like that. It was like Nightman from last uh, liberation. Oh wait, I guess we didn't talk about it then. No, Nightman will be next one. No, you're right. Nightman will be next one. Yeah, so yeah. they only allow you a certain amount of Navis per uh, per liberation. So I gotta kind of write some of them out every time. Number Man's ability is he checks the six panels in front of him, grabs or eliminates any traps, and then grabs any items. Doesn't liberate any panels, but it is very nice for cleaning up items so we can get out of, get things out of the way. Number Man is horrible like for fighting, so we only actually do one yeah. fight with him. <laughs> His ability is pretty useful. Yeah, ability Especially great. because it saves uh, a fight like Searchman in the in Protoman version. It has a similar ability where he picks up the item. Like his ability goes much further than Numberman's ability in a straight line, but he actually has to do the fight to liberate the panel and get the item. Numberman doesn't liberate the panel, he just gets the item or uh, deactivates the trap, but skips the fight, which is pretty nice. It's one thing I actually really liked about um, about Gyroman, is that you literally can just bomb liberate a panel. And yeah, that's one of yeah. the advantages of uh, Rotorman is that you can just use that order point to clear a panel and not do a fight. Does he have super armor? I think he does, right? So is there ever a point where you no, get wait, to number... choose which he Navis does, yeah. you take with you, or is it just in this no. one you have these Navis? In this deal one with you it? have these, yeah. Yeah. Wait, Number Man sucks. He puts a mouse cursor on the screen. Okay, that's pretty funny. <laughs> Trying my best. <laughs> Shout outs to that rock, by the way, Lurkin. <laughs> yeah, that's the rock that missed me up. <laughs> that is the exact fight, I think. Yeah. That's rock. It's trying to move up to copy damage, and the Nightman was not moving up. I was like, what's going on? Oh, Dumbog Man first. Okay, so actually, uh, there's traps that paralyze Navis in this uh, liberation in the next one. So right now, for this turn, Nightman can't do anything. Yeah. This is actually perfect to draw. Ah! Oh no, he goes over there. Yeah, actually, please. Titan Order points in this uh, liberation, so we have to do like all of the abilities. Like in a specific. Like for example, next turn, we have to do number mans before Mega Mans, or else we're going to run out of number uh, order points. Yeah. Like this liberation, you just really have to be good, careful yeah. about. Uh... As much as they want to, I think this is a better chip. Actually, we know it's not going to work. No, it'll work. <laughs> <laughs> Buster bug there, by the way. <laughs> Buster bug working as intended. It's like if an enemy like walks into the air spin, it just breaks. And I thought that was gonna happen, but it didn't. Yeah, it's it's a little bit weird. It's like I don't know how far into their movement they have to be to not yeah, break. Yeah, it's weird. Through. Yeah. But now I know you could just press A for that fight. Learned something today. Yeah, so that was actually an intentional pass by Colonel to bait this guy up here. So now we can one turn. All according to plan. Shout out to picking up all the ships, even the ones you don't need. <laughs> it's for a photo for, right? For next <laughs> turn. You must honor your style. ships. 
custom style. The Dark Holes in this, uh, other than the one you do with Mega Man, all the Dark Holes in this liberation have pretty cool strats. Yeah. I was afraid you were going to call them consistent because of what <laughs> happened last time. No, 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 no. We don't use no, that no, word no. anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, they're consistent if I don't go for life, sword. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't even a dark hole. But yeah, uh, that dark hole, we usually go for Tomahawk Man's signature chip. But Lurkin just got a better draw there. Yeah. So usually, like, if you do like Tomahawk and then you know Varsword with that code have the same area of attack, but Varsword does more damage. So if I had used the other chip, um, I would have needed an extra charge shot. For this next fight, we need to draw just one chip, basically, or not be bad. I think we need one chip actually, regardless. Which we got. Yeah, so yeah, we just uh, copy damage. As we copy damage this guy, double hit the third. This is actually a cool strat that I like. So here, we are, and I intentionally do this fight from here to be this advantage for the Dark Hole, which allows the enemies for the next Dark Hole to line up correctly. Yeah. It's actually a very cool strat. Oh, I should have waited a little bit. It's fine. So this dark hole is actually super consistent. Yeah. It was actually pretty inconsistent until we say we Jigumba came up with the idea of uh yeah. having it as disadvantaged and that makes it consistent. Because otherwise the ninjas can have two separate patterns, one of them which lines up very nicely and another which is inconsistent. But with this way it's always been the same way. So this is not a required one turn, but it saves a turn. If we one turn it, this is a horrible fight, but it's, it's, it's fine. <laughs> and then this is a good draw. No, what? This oh, this is fine. Okay. Oh, it's you fine. got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So usually with the what I was talking about in new strats, so what we used to do is have Tomahawk Man right now run all the way across the screen to do that dark hole over there. But instead, I'm just going to pass with them. Number Man always passes unless you mess up the previous fight. <laughs> Number Man is the, um... It's like the walk of shame if you mess it up. Yeah. Number Man is the last resort. We don't want so that. Instead of having Tomahawk Man run all the way here, we can just do this with Colonel, and it's a very consistent fight. I said consistent because it is. If I mess it up... The Walk World. Uh, Easy. So easy. And the like, real reason this is good is not only did Tomahawk Man have to run up here. For this turn, we need Tomahawk Man to clear the panels around uh, around Cosmo Man. So he would have to run back. But uh, now he's right here. He just swing, and then we're going to fight him with Number Man. <laughs> right. You've, you've conditioned me to get nervous every time you say it's consistent. <laughs> That's my fault. I should have went for the unlock man chip. I thought he was gonna jump into the other one, and get double hit. <laughs> it could happen. Yeah. There's some very cool double hits that you can do with Tomahawk Man. So here, we kind of just want to draw a dark chip. Like, we can't manipulate dark chip draws because we can't 
decide when to open the custom screen. You just oh, gotta Oh, right. Yeah. It is I, Cosmo Man. No, wait, what are those? Have mercy. <laughs> All right, just. But yeah, uh, full synchro. <laughs> Well, Synchro yeah, Drill does a lot of damage just, too, yeah. so we're fine. That's pretty good. Oh, look, a free Dark Sword. Uh, I probably shouldn't use it for Karma, but... Wait, what? Eyes working. <laughs> I pressed right. I probably pressed down before the custom screen opened, so that movement was queued up. <laughs> I yeah, that, that was just to balance Karma. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'm pretty um, sure I pressed down before the custom screen, so oh. as soon as it closed, I moved down, so when I pressed right, nothing happened. Matters is I just gold it off the five, so the strat is worth it. Hey yo! So how far are we from our next break? Uh, we can do it right now. Actually, this is yeah. probably the best time. Yeah. Okay. And uh, let us know when we can pause. No, we can pause right now. Are right here? This is like actually perfect. So. Okay. So. Like before, we're going to take a short break here on Hotfix. We like to take wellness breaks, so we encourage everybody to get up, stretch, refill your water, just take care of yourselves. We'll be back in just a few minutes with more Battle Network 5, any percent noise. We just took our second break here in the Battle Network 5, any percent no ace here being run by a lurking. Hope you all have been enjoying the show tonight. If you have, make sure you check out more of Mega May, sort of what we do here every year on at least the Community Spotlight. We were expanding into other shows this year as well. We just uh, like to show Mega Man games during the month of May. There's going to be a lot more Battle Network coming this month on the 18th on Never Before Seen. There's going to be some Battle Network on the 20th. We've got a challenge run with, uh, I think it's BN6 uh, with only Buster upgrades. So, That's a good one. Um, on Challenger Approaching. So that'll be a lot of fun. And then, of course, uh, in two weeks from now, we'll have uh, more Battle Network coming as well. So lots of Team BN coming up this month. But once you're ready lurking, we can restart the timer and uh, finish out this run. All right, so we can get started again. Three, two, one, go. Where are we going now? This way. <laughs> 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 you just got back from liberating the entire net and your friends have come to see It has been a while, so uh, if we have time here, why don't you explain what No Ace is again? All right, so... Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, Gamari. All right, so uh, Ace stands for arbitrary script execution. There is another category in BN5 where you can actually do some, I don't know, computer magic. I don't really understand how it works. <laughs> but <laughs> we do like some shenanigans and we just uh, jump to the credits uh, basically two hours in. It's been showcased in GDQ Hotfix last year. A uh, really great run done by Rish. I highly recommend you guys watch. And yeah, in this category, we don't do any of that. We just uh, play through the entire game. So yeah, it's not exactly just any percent. The just any percent category uh, is the ace one. So this has been renamed to no ways because uh, those discoveries were actually very recent. I think it was last year. Yeah, it was even. found like maybe yeah. like... Well, we've known about some of the glitches used for a while, but there hasn't been a route that like put everything together until like last right. year. I mean, it's got to be a little bit like more just, than last year because Rich ran it last yeah. year. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, it like it was actually yeah, it was, like, like found like before. Yeah, it was like just a couple months before Rich did the run. Like when did, Rich did it, it, was still very fresh. Oh yeah, oh, exactly. Wow. I didn't yeah. realize it was that new of a thing. Now, uh, welcome to mine run through number four, where it turns out there's actually an important uh, computer we need to go jack into this time. Oh, no. Actually, uh, I guess we should mention is this is, you remember like way earlier when we went out of bounds and talked to Navi? This is where this really starts mattering. So at this point, we're supposed to go talk to an old Navi that tells us to go talk to a really, really old Navi to get different keys to get the key that we need. 
But uh, since we clipped out of bounds, we just immediately got to the Navi that we were supposed to talk to at the end of that quest chain. Hmm. And so we skipped like an entire quest chain here of like talking to a bunch of people across the indeed across it's, the internet and the real world. Essentially, that very very old Navi is actually the Navi of your grandfather. Yep. who is holding a piece of data that will allow you to get into a vision burst of uh, what well, we'll actually see in a second. Um, but having to do with essentially the past, just like the one from ACDC, uh, this one just being more relevant to their to Landon Hub's grandfather and well, what he did for a living during this time, that time of his life. Which is or an area on the internet <laughs> with a lot of people in it. Back when it was an active mining uh, island instead of an abandoned one. Because it turns out your grandfather was a miner back in the day. Of course, talk to everyone. Wasn't everybody a miner back in the day? It's true. <laughs> <laughs> we all were at some point. <laughs> I got you back with the pun. It only oh, took a couple I'm, hours. Absolutely. I was kind of hoping for it, to be honest. So good on you. Now, unfortunately, the bad guys uh, have shown up. I don't know if this is smart, but... Oh. Oh. Nope, it wasn't smart. I thought you were going to go for Jangle for a second there. No, no. I'm not going to... You know what? All right. I'm just going to bust her only this way. <laughs> I hope you don't die, Lurkin. I'm gonna feel oh, bad. Wait, oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. I'd say, I'd be careful there, Chief. <laughs> I did not realize how much HP I had. I would have just, uh. I hadn't saved in so long. <laughs> you might want to just leave it to the solar boy. <laughs> oh my god. Lurking, please. Yeah, leave it to the solar boy. <laughs> oh, good HP. You gotta heal. Pity HP. Oh my god. Yeah, so we're trying to get Wow Gao again, Gao Wow, but then uh, this man shows up, I think. Uh, he didn't show up yet. Uh, you have to chase down Gao, and then he shows up uh, there on the beach, and then you're like, "Oh crap, they stole." <laughs> Just in case something happens. Where are we going now? I don't remember. Uh, Silab is being attacked. Silab is being attacked. I was looking over at my notes. This is where I start getting confused on where to go, because I rarely get to run this far in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I didn't think I'd get this far. <laughs> Remember to practice late game. It's a classic speedrunner problem, yeah. <laughs> but then you get to run the kids that far, you're like, oh crap, I don't remember where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's me. That's me with Meteor Comps and for uh, <laughs> one of these days, I'll figure it out. <laughs> So now there's three fights that we have to do here. Uh, this. Drawing force worth a lot. Which, you know, I'm not going to complain about it. I hate Mark Lord. I can't, I really? can't get the stupid commands to work. Um, I think it's fine. It should be okay. It's just I like, input them too fast or something. I don't even know. Yeah, that was, that was a good dark chip user. Yeah, I think it's fine, yeah. Um, ah, ooh, that's, that's clean. I'd have been a better way to do it by, like, copy damaging the wood nose. I don't know if you would have had time. But then, like, line up. But right. It's just an extra charge shot. Actually, probably slower to wait for the shaky to line up. Yeah, that's one thing about oh, like yeah. BN5 is is one of the reasons I really like the speedrun is how much on the fly like in fight ideas you have to come up with. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. For a lot of the other uh, runs, it's generally like you have a strat that you follow. But for this one, it's just like look what you draw, do it as best as you can. I feel like running BN5 is maybe a better battle network player in general. Like you have to, I don't know, adapt so much during the flights yeah. into your draws. So yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. So now we're looking for a new uh, new base of operations because it turns out Scilab being also the hub of the Liberation Force, so essentially being 
you know, all our eggs in one basket for, you know, both Electopia's well-being as well as trying to liberate the net is just not great. It's not safe enough, somehow. Right. And so now we actually got a, a key to that cube, so now... Oh, I should talk to the back. So now we can actually, like, basically skip all of end area 3 when I'm going to cross it. We get to, like, near the end of it, rather than running through the whole area and looping around. And there is definitely one of the wild. So now we got a new base in uh, XV's basement. <laughs> I talked to the double click 20XX to get an HP memory. Thank you for running out your basement, XV. Really appreciate it. I always love how Lan just walks into a friend's house, uses this little computer without seeing anything, and then walks out. Hey, Mel, how you doing, beep? <laughs> <laughs> Like, it's also, like, even worse, the fact that, like, their friends can't use the internet because they lost their navis, but he's like, haha, I'm gonna yeah. use mine right in front of you <laughs> in your house. Just a quick flex. <laughs> hey, everybody. Oh, man. Yeah, I really need to go on the internet and deal with some stuff today. Oh, it's a good thing I have a navi to go take care of it. <laughs> I think, I think lands saved their butts enough times that they're probably <laughs> not too upset about it. That is true. They, they mean, know, they know he's working on it, you know? <laughs> yeah, actually, it's. I think it, after like lip five or something, or after lip four, where his friends find out that he is one of the people who are fighting God uh, to save the world. That's why they confronted you in the park. They're like, "Hey, we heard yeah." I think we it's when when we had the pause and we were like in the park with our friends. Yeah, they were like, "Yo, is is it you who's like, uh, going around fighting Nebula?" Like you're totally on this team, are you? And you're like, "No, yes." <laughs> Yo, was that the best program in the game you just got? It is humor because, you know, we like memes, so. We do. Are you doing humor later, Lurkin? What? Are you doing a humor joke later? Oh, yeah, we gotta do a couple of those. <laughs> it's All required. Right. Indeed. Now, for this part, if I read correctly, I believe, yes, it is. So, turns out, uh, first off, Rabita shows up, and we do like Rabita. Uh, and if Smog Siri definitely likes her better. But <laughs> she's Toad Man's operator. But they made a bit of a mistake. They wanted to get in the undernet. They wanted to go take care of stuff on their own. But the problem was, as soon as they tried that, Cloud Man showed up. And Cloud Man went in for the kill on Toad Man. And so, in an act of noble sacrifice, Colonel dashed in and saved him. But now we lost Colonel. So, uh... Hmm, I wonder who we're gonna fight in the next liberation now that Colonel is gone. Exactly. I wonder what they could have, you know, what could have happened. What happened when Mega Man got kidnapped? Oh yeah. Hmm. Clearly, it's Match Man again. <laughs> yeah, it was Match the whole time. That's what I've learned from doing Mega Man three years in a row. When you're not sure, it's Match Man. Oh, Match. <laughs> It's so funny. He appears in every game except for this one, funny enough. Really? This is the one he's not in? It's the one he's yeah. not in. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. It really is. We. My explanation for it is that he essentially got arrested after four, did some time, went to go get his degree, and then he shows up at six as a teacher. That makes sense. Makes sense. I like it. Yeah. It adds up. That's why you can't go to Scilab in four because it burned down in three. The infrastructure needed to be fixed. <laughs> <laughs> that and six or yeah that and six are the only two games you can't go to Scilab a welcome to the undernet which I must admit design wise is one of the best ones so hey, shout, us to, shout us to Larkman true he's chilling down there good boy <laughs> Now, these evil spirits here, the mechanic here is essentially they're going to latch on to, possibly latch on to Mega Man's face. And if we get into a battle while that's happened, well, we're going to start with a bug. We already have a bunch of bugs, so who cares exactly. about this? Not even worried. As some would say, it's fine. It's fine. 
Everything is fine all the time. Skip an encounter. Nice. And once they latch onto your face, do they just stay until you get into a fight? I think they get off after a while. Yeah, they do eventually. I, I think they get off at some point. Like, should be maybe right at, like, a little, little bit after this portal if he doesn't get the counter. Oh, that might longer than I thought. <laughs> it's still there. Oh, there we go. There's another one. And another one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so when Lurkin gets to the end of this area, he's gonna fight Toldman. It's a pretty simple fight. He's just gonna do the classic wait for a dark chip draw. And now to fight Toad Man, who does not want to stop. But we must Toad stop Man him. is very annoying because he can't drill him because as soon as you try to drill him, he jumps to another place. He only hit him once. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, so now we have full synchro. I'm just gonna go for it. And now we've done it. And turns out the Toad Man's uh Toad Man's uh life melody was able to cleanse that dark door that was holding this area back from us. At least he didn't have to like backtrack to it. He was just like, oh, Toad Man is already right here. <gasps> Dark <gasps> Colonel. Yeah. Colonel. Who, Who would have guessed? Would have <laughs> so this liberation, this is where it gets kind of tricky. Oh. Like yeah. a lot of the fights here are annoying. Um enemies do a lot of damage. Kind of preparing you for the post game liberations in, in a way, exactly. Which are not all, as bad, but the post game liberations are all pretty rough, uh, aside from the one we can cheese with Toad Man. But that's for the hundred percent. There's gonna be a lot of passing here. It might look weird, but it saves the overall amount of fights. Also, most of the dark holes in this liberation are actually not consistent. Really? <gasps> yeah. We just have to hope for good stuff and play well. Which is usually the hardest part, honestly. Playing well is very hard. I mean, a couple of them have yeah. like a decent strat, but like for example, this next one, most of the times the strat works, but sometimes the movement patterns are different, so. I don't know why he did that, but. So we got the good pattern here. So as soon as that guy gets back up, we can kill them. But sometimes like the the skeleton moves to a different place, we get less yeah. copy damage onto the Bladia, so the Bladia doesn't die and then Ah. The next fight I really like. The next circle is consistent as long as I don't mess it up. I'm pretty good at messing it up. <laughs> I, I think I got it down. I think I got it down. I'm very good at screwing it up. So, so you're not going for the very risky new strat? Wait, there's a new strat. Oh, I didn't, I didn't learn it. Probably for, right. for the better. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have learned it for this run. <laughs> Enemies suck, but mm. this is a decent fight. So what does the drill. life melody do again? So the life melody, when sung to an ally, allows them to liberate not one, but five spaces in front of them. So you see how we did like a super long, like five oh, in a row? Oh, wow, okay. It's because I used life melody on a... This is where when we're... Um, Search man, or not search man, but what is Medi, which is the proto man equivalent of Toad Man, has a much, much worse ability. Alright, let's see. Do I screw yeah. it up or not? Let's move back <laughs> first, back down, and then it's, it's normal. Back. 
down, up, down, damage. Ha! It's free. So I used to actually... It's very easy if you just take a damage boost, but uh... It's a fire hit and then... Thumbhawk Man is wood element, so you take like 200 damage when your HP is like 350, so... Yeah. Not great. We're just making use of a uh, Shadowman's ability here. True! Because we need to get that item. Better to just knock those man. I don't know, I think it's faster than three charge shots. Yeah, probably. Unless I lift B the, the gunner, but. Gonna use life melody once again, and it's also a good thing that it skips uh, Toadman's phase because it's not very good at fights anyway. Uh, I love Toadman. So, yeah. yeah, try to not use him usually. I mean, these dominards only take one damage from everything unless their mouth is open is when they attack you. So they're like one of the most annoying enemies because you can basically only attack them if they're attacking you. Except for a few yeah. uh, exceptions. Does yeah, it's fine with drill since it's yeah. a break element. Break. Does copy damage override that? Like, Yes. It does. Okay. That's why like, I'm copy damaging one and then... But this fight we actually don't want to one turn. Like, this is intentionally delayed. I should have picked a drill. Because behind Number Man is a trap. And you know, if we one turn, it's gonna clear everything around us and Number Man will get paralyzed for the next turn. So we intentionally wait a turn, so now he's not paralyzed and we can use him next turn. Blast stock over. No! <laughs> Never mind. I honestly didn't know he blocks that one. I don't know how that works exactly. It's I don't know, I feel like it's weird what he blocks or what he doesn't. Yeah. It's fine. This fight is one of those that it's just not consistent. You just need to draw yeah. something. And make it work somehow. I probably could have made it work if I like pause buffered and checked where everything is and then used my uh upper whirl. But it still probably wouldn't have one turned or Still been kind of messy. So this turn is Shadow Man. Yeah, we're gonna use Life Melody again, by the way. It's just that yep. we pretty much use it every phase. It's just that good. I thought I was going to be too far up. Um, it's fine. Pretty good fight for Shadowman. So the reason I copy damaged the Scully instead of like one of the other uh, ghost enemies is the Scully, whenever you attack him, he like breaks down and you can't damage him for a while. But that yeah. doesn't work with copy damage. If you copy damage him, you can just do whatever after. Like, he will just die. This is probably the worst fight in the whole liberation. I got but... really lucky there. Yeah. <laughs> this fight is, yeah, it's very bad. But I kind of just wanted to kill the other two viruses and worry about the brute on his own, but he stood right in front of my copy damage and then walked into my drill for me to do enough damage to kill him. I 
Now we do another pass here to bait um, the lady away from the middle because we're gonna, guess what, use like the lady again. <laughs> yep. Really? I never would have guessed it. Cyrus is a, a bit annoying. Yeah, he moves very quickly, so it's very hard to actually target it with anything. And then when he attacks, yeah. he attacks quickly. So generally, um, they knock you out of your ability. Sometimes you get uh, a fight with Tomahawkmen and those viruses, and you're surrounded, and it's just pain. Yeah. This is another, like, basically the same fight as earlier. At least Mega Man is not a wood element, so... Yeah. Does Mega Man have an element? No. No. I mean, at least not in BN5, because... Yeah. Uh, we don't get styles in BN5. I guess if you use the, the fusion or whatever, does he gain the element of the person he fuses with? I believe so. It does, yeah. yeah. So we never use it, we never really think about it. Okay, yeah, that makes sense then. It's actually going very well for Lipsticks. Lipsticks can, can yep. get very messy with uh, some of the fights, but I've been getting decent draws and decent fights because you know the fights are random and which one you get but i've been getting some better ones you're basically full hp with the uh, shadowman so you can't really get hey, one shot either you get hit or you don't right? so this fight is actually super consistent but it's very I hard i do believe lurkin is it's gonna do it correctly it is really tight though oh no i messed it up might still be okay. Um, do that. It should be okay, but... Just make sure this works. Yeah, Very understandable. <laughs> so generally with just anti-damage and charge shots, you can kill him and, you know, your yeah. chip. It's very consistent, but it's very tricky and you have no room for error. And since I did a slight mistake, I wasn't sure if it's going to work or not, so I just uh, did drop shot for it. But yeah, one of the main reasons Proto Man is worse is Dark Proto Man is so bad. Like, it's the most inconsistent fight. Yes. There's no good way to do it. So I need to do Navi Custom Folder Edit. Yeah, this is actually the last Folder Edit. So here, we are gonna have a little boss rush, not exactly boss rush, more like friends rush. Friends rush. We're just gonna uh, face all of our friends again. Because apparently, uh, I don't remember the lore exactly, so Meta can probably help me out in this one. But basically, Nebula, the evil organization, uh, launched a, a plan they, they had a, a plan and they um, have these uh, I don't know what they're called do you remember some soul those? servers I, I think they're called soul servers yeah, soul and they servers. just make people like they're like receptors angry. and they're uh, making they I, I don't know they're, they're making people uh, really angry for some reason yeah. in all of these areas like people in the real world yeah people are just and we have to and... find each one of these uh soul servers and destroy them and one of your one of our friends are going to be protecting each one of them and we just uh dig for dark chips so is this where the dark we drill comes in clutch yes absolutely 
We can either do, uh, just use Dark Chips or go for a Chaos Unison, like Lurkin is going to go for here. But you have to be I think careful it's the first with Karma. time. Yeah. This is where Karma becomes a problem because there's like a lot of fights back to back and not enough encounters to charge back up your Karma. So, since this fight is one of the easier ones, I decided to not use a chip and just wait an extra turn. Because when we're anxious, we cannot Chaos Unison, but we have to be anxious to draw the Dark Chip. So generally, we get anxious, draw the Dark Chip, and then wait a whole turn, and then open the custom screen again as non-anxious, and then on the next turn, we use Chaos Unison. So the best, the best thing is to top take a Dark Chip and then immediately Chaos Unison. So yeah. It's either like, you know, you top deck it or you have to wait two turns, unless you use the Dark Chip. I guess the question is, you can't reg Dark Chips, I assume? No, they they mm. are 99 megabytes. <laughs> they're uh, unfortunate. the biggest chips. Like, they're made, you cannot reg them. I suppose that would be extremely powerful if you memories. could. Wait, was that right? I said, I, I guess that would just be way too powerful if you could. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So since I again have fast gauge, so the gauge uh, custom screen will fill up quickly, I'm not going to use the dark chip. So I can use again more. Wait, what? Oh, I did. Oh, that was just... very unfortunate. The timing was. Timing was yeah. very bad. That's fine. I'll use the dark chip now. Of course. Okay. Uh, at this rate, no, you might as well wait. No, yeah, yeah, that's fine. It was just unfortunate. Okay, I'll see you in a send. Probably should have picked the chip so I don't have to do three different short shots, but... So, come on, you want to explain how Chaos Unison works? Yeah, so in, K in Chaos Unison, uh, we can just keep using the Dark Chip attack that we use to, <laughs> to go into Chaos Unison. Uh, for that, we just charge as, we, as if we were charging the Buster, so we just hold B. And there's going to be a f glowing, flashing uh, green ball that goes purple. And whenever it's purple, you are uh, that's that's when you're good to to uh, use it. Like, yes, yeah, so you let go of B when people. it's purple. Yeah. So when if you mess up your timing and do it when it's still green, uh, you're going to lose Chaos Unison and Dark Mega is going to uh, go out and be on the enemy side and just do random stuff and maybe oh. even kill you. So yeah. So that's it's why the pause buffering? To... Yeah, yeah so that's I'm pause why buffering we do the pause to, Yeah, so I'm just pause buffering until I see the purple and then I could let go of B and then unpause and it's gonna assume that I let go of B at that point exactly after I'm pausing. Makes it go off. So if you're patient with your pause buffering, you basically cannot mess it up. Now, generally, we at least I only do the first charge shot without pause buffering because I just know the timing of it. Some people do like the first two. So, if you really want to, you could learn how to not pause buffer, but it's just yeah. risky and doesn't reward you much. Like the pause buffering loses you so little time. For for dart drill, since enemies are are usually moving, I just always basically always pause yeah, buffer. Sometimes too, yeah. not for the first, but with dark white, since you're just like standing in the middle. And firing it, we can risk a little bit more. But yeah, the timing is actually not that bad uh, for the first three yeah, it's ones. Diff I yeah, would it's say. very forgiving, actually. Like, the yeah. first one, like you don't have to be very precise. Like, know the timing window and it just works. But after like five, six, then it gets like pretty bad. Because generally, like. The, the more times you use it, the longer it takes for it to start flashing purple. It's so like at the first one, like after a second or two, it starts flashing purple, like on and off. But like for the sixth one, you have to like wait like five seconds or something before it oh, starts wow. doing it. Yeah. And when it starts doing it, it's just like really quick. Yeah. So it's like they made it in a way where you're supposed to mess it up after like one or two usages, yeah. but with pause buffering, it's just. Let's see. I think like at this point, like I do more like timed pause buffers. Like I know about when to pause buffer. Yeah. 
Yeah, most of those pause buffers, you just paused it and it was on purple. Yeah, so like I pause it like right around where it starts flashing, and then like I know like if it's still like at the very beginning of the green, because it goes like green purple, and it, like I can tell from the animations if it's early green or late green. So if it's early, I can like slightly delay my second pause buffer. Mm. Also, we did change our Navicus to have Humor on because Humor bug gives us our Buster bug. But we also have Body Pack, which gives us like Flow Chews and Super Armor and a lot of other things. So our Buster doesn't do damage anymore because we don't need it. Yeah, uh, I believe you said Humor gives Buster bug. It gives uh, oh, Emotion he, bug. Emotion bug is what I meant. Yeah. yeah. Emotion bug. I guess so that's where he is. Uh, is Meta here? Yeah. Is Meta back? I don't. I don't think so. I think I'm gonna wait for him because he would probably narrate the jokes this out of all of us. So. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm gonna save because I have died to this fight before. Yeah, that's uh, my job. <laughs> Meta, let me know when you're ready to read a joke for us. Oh, indeed, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so ready for the jokes. <laughs> this fight is actually annoying because you know Shadow Man splits into many different enemies, but we top tick drill. Yeah, but so. also this top tick drill. Dark drill can do up to seven hundred damage if they're in the front. So yeah, yes, actually, there if he was in the really back, good. it would have taken two different charges. But since he was in the front, there's only one. So where is he? Yeah. All right, Meta, take it away. All right. Let's go to the under that. <laughs> That's it? Come on. Um, oh, wait. I th it's bugged. It's bugged. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, it's, it's bugged. bugged. You need to have Never humor mind. online. Sorry. It's, we'll it's do it not later. on the line. We'll do it later. You know, what, you know what the funny thing is? I actually have done that casually before where I insult I'm like, Where, where's my humor? And that's how I'm like, oh, I have to put it on the command line. Interesting. <laughs> I like how you went into the voice as well. You're like, yeah. That's good. You <laughs> That's the joke. Congratulations, y'all. That's the joke. <laughs> it's funny because I learned that the Team BN community has an album that contains every single joke from the humor program. Oh, yes. Mm. So you, you should have so realized wondering. instantly that yeah. that wasn't a joke. <laughs> so if you're wondering, we're supposed yeah. to go to the internet now because there's one more like mega soul server that we're supposed to break. Indeed. Turns out we apparently for, forgot to... <laughs> or, uh, no, we haven't forgotten to, but we are uh, in need of destroying the last one. Legs go to the internet. Oh, BN for translation. Well, that's a lot of horizontal movement. It's fine. How dare you. <laughs> okay, not punished. Not punished. <laughs> I was trying to do the undernet again, except this time there's no evil spirits running around. Now with 100% less things. ghosts. What was that and comment about red anymore. horizontal yeah, movement? Oh, so um, horizontal movement. <clears throat> the reason why we comment on that is because in this game, because it's isometric, uh, technically horizontal movement is it's a waste of movement in some ways because it, you could be pressing up or down at the same time. Yeah, so basically, when you're moving horizontally, you're moving like, I don't know, one one pixel, one frame. I don't know the correct terms. I just run the games. <laughs> but, uh, I'm, I'm not a tech guy, I just run them. <laughs> yeah, if you're moving like to the right, just to the right, you're moving like one uh, pixel frame or something like that. And when you're moving up, you're moving like two because of the isometrical view. And when yeah. you're moving like... Uh, Diagonally. Up would be like diagonally, right? So yes. ver vertically, no, vertically. So yeah. diagonally, which would be like up and left or up and right, for example, you're moving like one to uh, one up and one right, or one up and one left at the same time. So it's always two. Uh, same thing with just uh, vertical movement, up or down. So right or left is just straight up slower because you so kind of move so less. If you were like paying close attention throughout the run, like let's say there is a like, I'll give an example. Like, let's say we were running from here to go to the other room. Instead of walking all the way left, I would have actually... I got an extra encounter for that. So. <laughs> hey, it's, fine. It's, for, it's for teaching moments. For educational for purposes. 
Exactly. So it's actually faster to like cut up left here instead of going all the way left. Mm -hmm. Even though every time you turn you lose a frame because the game is switching your sprite, it's still like, you know, that's just losing a frame, but the horizontal movement actually loses it adds up if you just never cut horizontal movement yeah. throughout the run. Like obviously it's not like multiple minutes, but it's like one of those right. optimizations. Like for example here, I didn't walk to the end of the square, I turned here because it's less horizontal. The Most one exception the time, that I've cutting is actually good, but yeah. It seems like the the exception is when you're running horizontally into a sloped wall, because I've seen you do that a lot. Uh, just yeah. Uh, no, even if, most wall there's like very little straight horizontal walls. Like it's generally like still diagonal. No, I mean so like when it looks like you're running into the wall mm -hmm. horizontally, but you're actually moving. Interesting. At, okay. a, at a diagonal. It's one of those things where, like, it's just kind of a fun thing to start thinking about when you're running to, like, how can you do less turn frames? Because every time you turn, that's a frame. Yeah. Yeah. And how to do less horizontal. Like, for example, here, I tried to cut up right as fast as I can to minimize horizontal. I think that's the case for every game that does like isometric uh, views. I, be so I believe like so. Yeah. So now we get the path into the final vision burst, which is Scilab back in the day. Yeah. It's the one room. <laughs> and you actually get to see um, a young version of your grandfather and Dr. Wily. Oh! <gasps> So it kind of gives you that uh, that war connection there, because um, because in the classic games, of course, uh, Wily is a is a robotic scientist, and in this game, he also is a robotic scientist whose research essentially gets turned down uh, in favor of Doctor Hikari's network research, which is of course why he holds a bit of a grudge. But more importantly, it was their combined work that gave birth to Soul Server, which Regal is now using to, well, attempt to corrupt the entire world by connecting them together and feeding them basically pure darkness. Look, oh, dark chips. Yeah, mass production of dark chips. And there's only like 12 Beautiful. in the game. <laughs> hey, these are ready. These are ready for shipping yet. All right, so Great music, fun comps, True. but a lot of 75%. Because we're running with Nightman, I don't have auto on, so I'm pressing B. Yep. So a lot of Oh encounters. no. And everyone is a 75%. Unfortunate. Just need Komari to say that we need to get some runaways. True. <laughs> Splendid. I'm pretty sure his movement is based off where you are. Now that I think about it. This song is one of Wait, my favorite in the whole series. Oh, absolutely. Oh, uh, the Ella Ogre? Mm, probably, yes. Moves like, um... Like, not B-Tank. Uh, what's the other... Uh, the one from BM3. I'm not a BN3 gamer. That's fair. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Okay. I'm, I'm feeling a total of six failed runaways in Factory Comps. Mm. How do you feel about that? I, you know, I think it's a little <laughs> optimistic given my uh, last run that I did. 75% <laughs> of the time fails every time. If you get deleted as another Navi, you still game over. Yeah. Is that true in the uh, Liberation Missions, too? No, in Liberation oh. Missions, even as Venki, you can actually die. It just means that your Navi cannot do anything for the next turn. And you don't clear the, the, yeah. you don't, like, clear the panel. If everybody but you gets, can actually die. If everybody yeah, gets incapacitated uh, in the Liberation, then you fail the Liberation Mission. Yeah, yeah. if everyone gets... Yeah, but if okay. one Navi gets inca incapacitated, the next turn they'll be back up. Also, I like and how... there's also like a turn limit on the liberations, so 
Oh, is there? Like, okay. We were beating them in like five, six turns for like the later ones, but like you have like twelve turns. Like it's very forgiving. Oh, there is a max limit. That's right. I guess in some of the later ones, there's just a lot of items to pick up. Yeah, if you want to go for everything, and also the fights get tricky. It's like I think they expected you to mess up some of the fights in the later ones yeah. because fights are not easy. What is world record for? Especially when we get to the post game ones, those are. Even with a great folder and you know experienced runners can still mess up some of the fights because of how bad they get. I also just like that I was like, okay, Kamari, give us your commentator's blessing. It's like six failed runaways. I'm like, that doesn't sound like a blessing. It's not, it's not even bad. I would not no, complain no, actually, about that. It's actually okay. Really? It's actually okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Six is good. So yeah, it's not good. Dude, but we're like, gonna have four. We're, we're gonna have four comps. So four yeah. uh, of these maps. That we need oh to wow! Three. That's, like as an example, yeah. I already had three in one comp, and like that's. I was talking about below average, for, like, but it's like the what whole happens? scenario. Okay. So all four comps. That's hmm. really good for like a great run, a great uh, hmm. four world record attempt run. You would want around like four or five for the whole thing. So. Right. Okay. Yeah, like one per comp usually is pretty good. I've already had yeah. four. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, the it's second one I failed American. was an actually an eighty-seven point five percent, not a seventy-five. Oh because no! After every after every failed attempt, it goes up. So it's like fifty, seventy-five, eighty-seven point five, and like ninety-two, and then back to zero. Just because so, there's a bug. Just remember, it's either a hundred percent or it's fifty percent, just like we said before. Mm. Yeah, you either run away or you don't. So I think I have enough karma to just dirt chip everything. Yep. Yeah, probably. Yeah. And now you fight Blizzard Man. Uh, of course. It's fine. No dark edge. Dark chips. <laughs> no dark chips. <laughs> Can I get a full synchro or something? Okay, I guess not. Maybe we'll get it now. Oh wait, no, we can't. Yeah, get only darkness. <laughs> That's fine. I have our sword, and I saved. That's good. Uh, can I counter hit him? Mm, it doesn't matter because oh, I'm dark. dark. True. Oh, you did, but <laughs> all right, all right. Fine, we've saved. So if we, if we died, it's not a. It's no, not no, no, no. Dark Mega is gonna take the wheel. It's fine. Oh, you're right. Should I oh, take the wheel? Oh wait, that's bad though. That I mean, it's content. Thank yeah, you. Now you lose a lot of karma. <laughs> you lose like 15 karma. True. If not for that, we're done. <laughs> but yeah, if you die after using a dark chip, uh, you just go dark berserk, which is a, uh, it's just dark mega. You have no control over him. And he just uh, does whatever he wants. <laughs> tries. Uh, I, I want to say he tries to to delete the enemy. Uh, he just does whatever. <laughs> he does. He Most does. of the times he tries. Sometimes he just yeah. <laughs> jumps around. Yeah, sometimes. So uh, we. Guess, okay. I was gonna say to explain the comps because we didn't talk about the mechanics of the comps. There's basically a puzzle where you have to like switch between Mega Man and the other Team Navi to like open doors where the others can't reach. So like right now. Uh, Shadow Man, who's on the top part of the screen, will open a door for Mega Man down here, and then Mega Man will open a door for him, and so on. Exactly. Just basically pressing buttons and opening doors. It's all about the power of teamwork and friendship. Yep. Now, unfortunately, on that same note, in the last computer, when we defeated Blizzard Man, turns out they had a bit of an ace in the hole, where once we did, they opened up a dark portal, and, well, it so basically took Blizzard Man and Nightman away from us. So Is yeah, that Nightman's so, uh, out of the That's action. why we had to talk to Princess Pride right after because uh, we were like sorry. Nightman's dead, but we only talked to Princess Pride. The rest of them they can deal with their problems. Well it's cause it's cause yeah. Nightman like jumped in to try and save us because like they were gonna take Mega Man and then Nightman yeah. jumped in and let us jack out and then he got sucked in. What a hero. I man MVP by the way. I man MVP. Pouring out for a real one. <laughs> and yeah, the rest of them are more targeted. Like all of them, now just getting ducked away basically. And it's yeah, that is six now, Kamari. Or is that five? Oh god, apples. That's six already. I forgot. Six already. I forgot about the apples. I tried lurking. 
<laughs> it's okay. You will now get every runaway. Yeah, Kobe. So like usually it's bad, but like this run, it's especially bad with uh, six at this point. Is as bad as it gets. You'll get everyone for the rest of the <laughs> dungeon comp, Copium. Imagine. Hmm, we haven't tested if Meta Ruler is a blessing or a curse yet. Oh, really? Okay, that was uh, That was a brave <laughs> thing to say. <laughs> oh, here we go. We're going to see it. <laughs> Aha! <laughs> Blessing. Probably like one more encounter this comp. Maybe two. Probably? Yeah, because you have to walk more. all the way around. Just one, yeah, just one more. Ah, um. Or maybe as Megaman. In Megaman? Which is good, actually, because it raises your karma. True. So, so one thing we didn't mention is like one thing you should be kind of careful about with karma or dark chip usages is that the escape rate for this comp to be 75 with Mega is to have 470 HP. So had I used three more dark chips, he would have had a 50%, but like not like it matters. Mm -hmm. it's, it's still yeah. a 50%. Actually, a 50% is probably better. <laughs> Arguably. 75 is just kind of cursed. But, it uh, is cursed. <laughs> this fight, I have to say, this is like the second worst fight in the run, with the worst fight being the first. Um, Shade Man fight. The second one is the second Shade Man fight. Shade Man is just a scary dude. You gotta draw. Nice draw. Hey, I'll see you. This should be easy. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I thought he goes back to his original spot. But. Same. I guess not for that move, huh? Maybe if you, maybe because I was attacking, it like counts the block as occupied or something. Oh, maybe. No clue. Draw arm may be weird. Yeah, I believe. that was true. That was a good fight, though. And with that, Shadow Man is also taken away from us, leaving us with fewer team members. This next computer will require three of us. So, Mega Man, Tomahawk Man, and Number Man. Number Man has a 50% chance to run away. What? Oh my god, no. Yeah. That's right, because he's 400 HP. And he's also terrible in battles, so... I'm pretty sure Matty suffers from the same problem during these comps. Yes, yeah. but with, with, uh, with... With Toad Man, you can like switch to Colonel, so you can have Colonel do all the movements. Or Toad Man do all the movement, and then switch to Colonel right before an encounter check. Oh, oh you can also do that in this comp. I was actually not as much, because like the movement... Yeah. like. It just lines up badly. Like, yeah. like right now, I could switch to Tomahawk Man and get the encounter, but that would be wasted movement because. Yeah, exactly. I was wondering how the step counter worked on this computer. Yeah, which. <laughs> also, in uh, in answer to the question, can that sludge that falls down deal damage? Yes. And I keep yeah. moving. If you keep moving, it doesn't hit you. And if it does hit you, it does very little damage. Ew. <laughs> Like to just a yowch! <laughs> Take it away! But yeah, Ish. the step counter is shared it's between shared, yeah. all navvies, so you can actually just switch when you know you're about to get an encounter. The thing is, you never uh, know when encounter. you're getting. You can know when you start getting higher odds. So, like, I didn't know I'm yeah. gonna get a check exactly yeah. on that step. If I did, I would have switched from a uh, number man. But it's like, you know, I could have gotten it there or in like 20 more yeah, steps, or exactly. I could have gotten lucky and just gone all the way to the button without getting an encounter, so you never really know. That's that's some task stuff right there, and even then, you're just... Test doesn't get any encounters. Uh, wait, what? You never... Your encounter checks in this game never get to 100%. So you start getting like a 37% check every like three oh, steps. Oh, wow. If you're a test, you just keep skipping those 37% checks. Now, with these oh, numbers, I'm just kind of throwing out, they're probably not accurate. But. <laughs> I didn't know Tomahawk Man was also hurt. This is you great. Were right. Go back. Wait, was I right? Yeah. Oh, oh wait, I was right. I was going to where Mega is, okay. <laughs> oh my god, that's a 75 followed by an 87.5. What is this now, like 9? Like 9 already, it's too. Nine. 
Yo, Zenit. It was right. You're right. It was right. F. Yo, boy, Herc got on. The oh, man chops down the big door that's in the way. This is the computer of doors. Either hackable ones or destroyable ones. And this is also why... Oh my Herc. god, it's 10. Unfortunate. It's probably the unluckiest of every guy in these cops. And that's saying a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, chat. Lurking needs your energy. We need some more runaways. Mega first. Indeed. I guess I could do the man movement there, actually. No, the door is right here. Never mind. Yeah, you need the door. They can do it like now, but we're switching. I should have done the other fight first, because the check was close. More number man time. Ouch! Ouch. <laughs> that was my mistake. This encounter should have been with Thelmok Man as a 75. Let's be real. It didn't matter. <laughs> yeah, I think the 75% with Thelmok Man was pretty cursed this run. What are we at? 12? We're at 12. <laughs> <laughs> and like, probably it's like, it's 12 out of like. 11 fights because I've had like double <laughs> failed escapes. <laughs> Phew! So I have like more than 100% failed when I each. Incredible. Yeah. <laughs> 75 average, by the way. The RNG debt collect collectors come for you. Because <laughs> I was saying earlier that this trend's going pretty well. Yeah. You got it too good for too long, looking. It's time for you to pay. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Herc. Like, we're just showing what running BN5 is really game. like. <laughs> this is what BN5 runs are. You could be on PV phase and wear phase, and then you get to factory box, and then this True. happens. What if you wanted to wear, wear what the game said? Herc. This is actually worse strats lurking because uh, I, I believe Jagoomba loses like three minutes to fail the escape in this one. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So I just want to go back the to the only BN4. fight where I'd prefer to draw um, Dark White over Dark Drill. Because this guy spawns clouds in the front and then it's hard to drill him. Or you just draw nothing. <laughs> Perfecto. It's a drill, I'll use it. If it's uh, wide, I'll use yes, yes, it. Now I'll play the dangerous gambit of picking a water soul into the electric boss. It's fine. Oh, that's not f as fine, but this is still fine. Just do an extra one, clear everything. Very nice. Come and takes away our two more of our friends, leaving us yeah, with... Comp. Only the first and the last. This one has everyone's favorite colonel who's specialized at uh, Herx. So. <laughs> True. <laughs> this is now Team Herc because uh, cause they have Tomahawk Man as well. Oh, and yeah, of actually, course. We moved Toad Man there at the beginning to get him as close to the buy in before the encounter. And now yeah. Colonel gets the encounter, and then Toad Man won't get it on his way. This Colonel has a 75%. Oh, wow. Actually, liver. <laughs> Watch Colonel MVP this. Yeah, so now, Toy Man has just to do this movement. Excellent, eh? Uh, 
glad I got this because if I didn't, I would have gotten it with Toad Man. So you yeah. have a little bit more movement after. But Those it doesn't matter. It's hurt. 13. Those are pretty late encounters, actually. Yeah. I don't care about late encounters. I want escapes. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> There is no escape. Rip it down the door. Okay, so this uh, dungeon, Mega Man actually does like very little movement. Like he just moves through the middle here, then yeah. everything else is between uh, Colonel and Toad Man. His teammates clear a path for him. Basically, I actually should have been doing movement with Toad Man, but it's actually still it's fine. So here, like, since I just got an encounter, I'll start doing Toad Man movement, and then after a while, I'll switch over to Colonel and probably do like a couple of steps and get an encounter, or get a very early Toad Man encounter. So let's switch around here. So we should get a encounter quickly here. Yep. But again, it's it is faster to not do that and getting lucky, but because <laughs> you know it takes time to switch between other navies. Getting lucky is a time save. Everyone's favorite time save, just get lucky. <laughs> yep. The real uh, Battle Network speedrunning strats. Have you tried just running away, forehead? Exactly. <laughs> just don't fail your runaway. Erk. Yo. Only one Herc from Colonel, right? You know, Colonel's doing good compared to, you know, yeah, Tomahawk Man and what a hero. Shadow Man. Really? What, like 12 or 13 now? I don't know, but... I think 14. 14? Okay. Yeah. So yeah, when we said 6 is pretty good, that's why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah! It didn't sound like that was a low number. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it doesn't seem like it doesn't. <laughs> At least chat's having fun. <laughs> Just get lucky. Yep. Just escape. <laughs> <laughs> you doing? One more encounter here. This is the last one, so it's gotta be uh Never mind. Hey yo! Colonel, save the run. Colonel MVP! I actually used very little Dark Chips this run. I could have afforded to use a bunch more, but yeah. it doesn't really matter. I actually didn't draw many like in the random gauntlet fights. So. Tantalizing taste of That's very good. Nice stop decks. Yeah. Actually, the fights have been really good, but... Yeah, well. The encounters have not been. <laughs> encounters have been... In. Later, Cosmo man. So we're almost done. Yeah, we just uh just talk to a couple things, you know, check in the uh, the comp, talk to a knocked out Navi. Yeah. And then before we beat the game, we'll do another thing first. For the fans. <laughs> Ooh, and now. Ooh, yeah. It's important. That was our team lies. Estimate us to the fuck on, hello. Now we save our friends. All the PETs. Knocked. Alright, he talked to us. Get ready. Oh, yeah. At last, the time has come. No, it's still bugged. No, it's on the command line, though. Fine. It should still it's, work. It, it still works. It has to be on the command line, yeah. Yeah, the, the command line has to read. Now, which one do we get? Hey, Lan. 
Give me a bath towel to light my buster, please. Okay, hold on. Bus towel. A towel for busters. Ha! I got it. I got it. Bus towel, bus towel, bus towel. Bus towel, bu uh, bus towel, towel. Oh. Uh. Okay. <laughs> that was a good thank, one. That's thank you so much one. for that. Oh, indeed. It's Any important time? we get at least the one joke every time we have BN yeah. five on. This stream is sponsored by Bus Towel, the, the towel for busters. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See how it is over there. So we mentioned how we didn't want to go dark because that was really bad. And the reason is that we need Chaos Unison to defeat the last boss. Well, we don't really need exactly. We are get, we want it though. <laughs> yeah. For for the speed run we kind of need it because we base the, the way we built our folder uh in the speed run we are basically forced to use Chaos Unison Indeed. for the final boss. So at least we got the final runaway. That's well, good. Luckily, in this moment, our team actually emerges from the dark shadows and essentially as the dark Navis come out, they come out too and they are able to protect us and allow us to get to the last boss, Nebula Gray. Yep. <sighs> now, this guy... Blade run. Oh, nice. Now, this guy is actually what uh, Regal is trying to upload to Soul Server in order to corrupt everybody's souls. This is literally the essence of pure um, human darkness, as it were. Way to revert becoming dark. Indeed, you can use chips like static, actually. Yeah, so here, uh, Lurkin is just going to try to dodge his attacks while... Uh Firing as many dark wise as possible. Ooh. Dark white doesn't do as much Dang. damage oh. as uh, dark drill, but you can technically hit Nebula Grey twice in the same cycle. It's a sketchy. Is it just use whichever dark chip you get first, or yep. yeah, yeah? Because technically, dark drill is better. Yes, and yeah, time yeah. is... Uh, I, um, uh -oh. I was hoping to draw a drill, but I don't have a drill. I'm dead. Get him, Airspin! It's fine, it's fine. Airspin Just dodge and oh, no, what? he doesn't. I don't have space to go anywhere. Draw a drill? No, no, no. You have uh, air shoes, float shoes, whatever. Oh, I do have float shoes. Okay, uh, does Wait, Django hit? Django? Uh, do you need to do 10 no, 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 no. Okay, okay, we're gonna go it, with it does style. Hit. It does hit. We're gonna go with style. Yeah! Nice. <laughs> That's time. <laughs> That is yeah. But yeah, Dark Drill is better for that fight. It's faster, but it's, it's a lot faster. It, it's faster to just get whatever Dark Chip you get first yeah. than to try to fish. Best for the thing other one. is to top tick Dark Drill. If you top tick Dark Drill, yeah. this fight is like 20 seconds or something. Yeah. Again, best strategy is get lucky, forehead. <laughs> Yeah, that In is the end, lurking had the, the redemption arc with the var sword. With the var sword, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Is it over? Oh yes, that, thing? It is. <laughs> that was for the BN3 runners in chat. <clears throat> smog. <laughs> <laughs> we got you, smog. All right. Uh, well, GG. You had like a three forty six. Uh, According to my. 13? Uh, yeah, so like three forty five, three forty six, somewhere like that. Still under time. It's a really good time for uh, a time. Yeah, yeah. It's a really good run. Do any of you have shoutouts before we wrap things up? Um, so, shout outs to mainly uh, Kamari and Meta for joining me. Uh, Aww. For the whole Team BN community, there's uh, a lot of great runners, a lot of great people. Oh, yeah. But yeah, that's it. I don't know if Kamari or Meta, you have anyone else? Go ahead. Uh, yeah, shout outs to Speedruns Brazil since I'm from Brazil. <laughs> and shout outs to Team BN. And for, I don't know, shout outs to GDQ. Thanks for having yeah, us. Thank you for having yeah. us. Yeah, I want to give a shout out to Terra. Uh, did a huge amount of work organizing all the runs that we're going to have on for all these Mega May shows. So oh, yeah. thanks a lot, Terra. Uh, it's very much appreciated. Terra's been kind of a mainstay on these Mega May showcases. 
I just sort of showed up into the Discord and was like, hey, let's do Mega Man. He's like, yeah, I'm on it. So big thanks. And of course, we've mentioned Team BN a lot. But if you're interested in Mega Man Battle Network stuff, go check out Team BN. You can find a link to their Discord on any of the Battle Network speedrun.com pages. And uh, if you tune in tomorrow, I believe it is random number generation and aimbot tomorrow. I'll double check. Ooh. But we have uh, hotfix shows on every night of the week starting at 7 p.m. Eastern. And you, we've got words are hard. Uh, yeah, weekends starting at 1 p.m. Eastern. There we go. Those are the words I was looking for. No, tomorrow <laughs> is Game Masters and Time Capsule. Uh, Random Member Generation and Aimbot is next week. So, Game Master is starting at 7 p.m. Eastern. It's a show about, you know, not always speedruns, but people showing mastery in games and speed raid and adjacent content. It's a lot of fun. So, you should check it out. But other than that, we're going to wrap things up here for tonight. If you stick around for a few minutes, we're going to go to a quick break and we're going to find somebody to raid. So, if you want to keep chilling and watching more speedruns, just hang out for a few minutes and we'll send you on to somebody else.